multiplayer and an expansion as paid DLC? No, it's going to be a free expansion, and that's going to be supported by microtransactions. The single player experience is going to be its own standalone thing that has free DLC with paid expansions, and then the multiplayer is going to be an add on that's free to play. That's going to be free to those who own the game, then they're going to probably support that with microtransactions. You're looking at monetization for that, but it's not going to be anything egregious. Yeah, it was kind of basically like, aren't they making a GTA, uh, what you call it, yeah, its own thing? Free to play. Oh, yeah, GTA Online is going to be its Do own Do I have to buy the game again? No, I'm just kidding. No. Well, you know, GTA is established, though. I mean, that's what they're. That's just what they're trying to do. That's all I know about it. Hey, hey, all I'm saying is Cyberpunk shaping up to be another uh, what was that trash game that came out last year in February? Oh. Anthem. First. Okay. Let's not do. Let's not do this. I don't know about do that. I don't know about do that. This. I don't know about, about that. that. Huh? I'm good with that. The difference hey. between this and Anthem is that when Anthem, when they were showing off Anthem, it was mediocre at best. And mm. it was in middle school, I don't know mediocre. about that. Uh, been mediocre. Man, that that shit was pretty. mediocre. That shit was that mediocre. Like, uh, the thing it looks like Warframe the thing, the thing about Cyberpunk is that they literally let media come out, play the game for five hours straight. And people walked away still saying that it was really fucking good. Because half them niggas in the game. <laughs> like, the only, I've seen like, it. Like, the, only, the only person I saw that is actually in the game is the Alana Pierce person who she has like a career path and went in the Nomad section. I saw but some white dude was thrown in there, like some uh, streamer or some shit. He got his own character. You ain't, you ain't telling me a game is being properly developed if it's delayed four times i mean it's, <gasps> it's been it's been delayed because it's again consoles they're making sure that the console version is that's the lie game. that they like that's the lie that they ship i mean they've shown off constant gameplay and like i said they let people play around in it for five hours yeah, anyway play a demo. anyway let me get it's these drops out the way. The first five hours of the game. <laughs> Let me get these That's drops out the way. Welcome to the Corner Store Podcast. What's popping? We only sell the real. Yes, of course, bitch. I don't think. I don't know. I'm getting my. I'm getting my drops out. Our clout is not for sale. Hi, bro. Are you done yet? Are you like doing them or is it? Yeah, I'm done. Why? I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it'd be awkwardly quiet. Oh, it took some 10 minutes to do it. Of course, bitch. I forgot. I got Why, why you say it like that? But bitch. Why you just say it like Yeah. It's because he's weird. Anyway, how are everybody doing? It's episode 666 six, six, six. of the uh, uh, Corner Store Podcast. I'm with my not I'm with my goofy. What? I'm with my people. One of my people, uh, Isaac, aka McTrophies. We out here with H, aka Bob. I'm gonna get Waxo21, aka Chris. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? Plax, platinum, platinum plax. How y'all doing? Everything going? Everything going? Swoop, How hell. How was y'all evening? You know, you know, you know. Just, yeah. um, just chilling at the crib, trying to play that Immortal game. It's gonna be the best game in December. What are you talking about? Immortal Souls? That was called Immortals mm -hmm. Rising. What? Whatever it is, the like Zelda clone that Ubisoft made. Yeah. I ain't seen a damn thing about it. <laughs> but a hundred. <laughs> oh, yeah, it comes out next month. It's, it's legit Breath of the Wild Assassin's Creed for teeny yeah. boppers. Oh, really now? Nice. Assassin's Creed for teeny what, boppers. What? What, huh? I got, what I got a game? demo out for it right now. If Everything? you got the Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck got a Stadia? <laughs> Some nigga's fifth uncle, nigga. I don't know, what, what even <laughs> is a stadia? The ten people that own a stadia. stadia. What no, even no, is no. a stadia? Isn't like a Steam machine, basically? What the fuck is a um, stadia? It's yeah. Google stream, game streaming service. Yeah, Amazon got some one coming out. Ah, uh, you yeah, they do. Um, they it's essentially the service that they, you pay into you to in order to play certain games that you don't ever own, really. Yeah, it's just game streaming. I saw the game 2K was on too. it. I saw 2K was on it. That's but about Stadia. it. 
Stadia has a free version now, so did not you can know just that. cop that. I didn't know about the. Pretty first, sure you can cop it version. on PC too. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting, but you know, I'd rather just the have a premium PC version is 4K 60. Hey, I think the free version has a little like stream rating, like a time limit on how long you can. I've play never seen any gameplay for this shit, so I. I just I just keep I, seeing shit. Like the people that I see, they said like at at least at launch, like the streaming for it was not well done. Like it was very laggy. This shit's worse than the PlayStation's little streaming service. Um, yeah, I didn't get to download in particular on the PlayStation now. Yeah. Did anybody even find out why YouTube was down for like two hours yesterday? Uh, I, I was on YouTube it. at all. I was already on yesterday. It. Yeah. I was on YouTube. No, at I, was, all. I was I was trying to look for videos and such for a class, and you know it kept it was down. I'm like, well, fuck. YouTube was down worldwide yesterday. For like what? Two hours. I didn't have a problem. I was using it yesterday. I uploaded. Porn. It was just down. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it, it was down. For hour. how long? The whole fucking day. Two hours. No, two hours. Yeah. It, I didn't know. I was on Disney Plus yeah, watching the Proud Family. I so I don't know what the and Phineas and Ferb, my nigga. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Not anyway. the loop. But uh, before we uh kick it off, uh, rest in peace, King Von. Wait a minute, who the fuck was that? Yeah, <laughs> I just think I said blam. What the fuck? Blam. Uh, before we kick everything off, rest in peace, King Von. Let's have a nice little moment of silence for Vaughn himself. Okay, now was a nice little moment of silence right there. Um, <laughs> anybody uh besides uh, obviously me and Isaac and I guess Keontae listen to uh some Vaughn songs. Anybody got y'all favorites? Yeah, that's y'all. <laughs> I like <laughs> I don't know. checked out a little bit of something. It wasn't quite for me. I don't even know what I looked up. I like just I like Google searched his name and like mm -hmm. listened to a bit of a song. I'm like. Meh. Not for me. If you ask Keontae, he's uh, the best King Vaughn fan, you feel me? He, he's he been there yeah, since fucking... That. Day one? Yeah, bro. He was... No, I... Oh, no. He was waiting, he, one, he, he was waiting for that Uzi feature. Day one, King Vaughn. He was waiting for that Uzi feature, bro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I... Hey, that would sound... I don't know how that would sound, bro. So I can't even say anything. Nigga, we about had it. we had we had Nelly on in fucking Florida Georgia line, bro. I'm, you can't say anything when yeah. it sounds bad, bro. Come on now. I mean, there have been weird mashups that sound all right. For real, bro. Hey. But I was hey, listening to like the newer Gorillas, their um their song machine album. They got Black and Elton John on the track. What the fuck? <laughs> it was not bad. on the same <laughs> track. On the track, on the same track. Elton John uh, and, and Six Slack. What the fuck? Hold on, bro. I got <laughs> that, that. Hold on. That sounds weird as fuck. So how much you never saw? I know. But uh, it's yeah, that shit. That shit was wild though. Um, that shit popped okay. off in uh, what was it? Georgia? Atlanta? Yeah, yeah Atlanta. Yeah, got into a bit, of a got to some disputed nightclub, and then just like uh, parent so. Uh, apparently Vaughn had wanted to give them a, a chance to actually fight, but motherfuckers pulled out poles. So uh, I heard that Ooh. nigga, what's his name? Uh, Rondo Rondo, he was getting his ass beat, and then everybody was jumping in. It was in. between, yeah, it was between uh them, but motherfuckers didn't feel like fighting. They just wanted to pull flout guns. I'm like, damn, bro, for That's real. some fuck shit, bro. <laughs> if if yeah. one party is coming into it, like, all right, bro, no guns, we just, I'm just gonna beat your ass, bro. Is it, it's it, probably. I would say it's probably because they realized that they weren't about to. They were probably about to get their asses beat. Bro, so Fondo like, Rondo's oh. 19. King Vaughn's like 27. Bro, come on now. Jeez. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> hey, 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 bro. I'm just like saying that motherfuckers realized that Quando Rondo and his fucking gang realized that they weren't doing shit to the. So they just decided, fuck it. They're going to pull. pull my guns and that's that and that's that straight up sorry shit bro i'm like damn it is some sorry shit if it's like it's a like i said and then it was king vine of all people to say yeah i'm we're just gonna do this shit straight up and if you get your ass beat get your ass beat these niggas got come, come on bro it's come on bro it's goofy as hell and then cops and shit were involved too like the fuck it it, it was just it was a big 
big big ass messy situation. A hectic situation. Yeah, and then uh, Vaughn's girlfriend, uh, Asian doll, she's out here on the internet clout chasing and shit, and that, that, I'm always trying to capitalize. Yeah, it was just like, bro. Ever since Vaughn passed, like four niggas came out on different stories of what he said before he died. Like it was some movie type shit. It was just like, man, y'all niggas serious? Like really, really? Like what were they saying? One said, um, tell Dirk, I'll, tell Dirk and the fans I love him, O Block forever. And then, you know, uh, and then, uh, old girl said, um, don't y'all be crying, don't let them do this to me. And then, you know, then he dies and shit like that. It's just, it's just, yeah. just like, like, I don't, it just sounds just, weird as fuck. I just want people to, yeah, you can like grieve, but at some point, you just gotta let motherfuckers just die in peace. Yeah. Wait, who, who was that that said they saw his? His ghost. Who is that? Oh, saw his ghost. That, uh, no. <laughs> I'm in L.E. Chopper, bro. <laughs> Wait, oh. This nigga in L.E. Chopper said, uh, this nigga was meditating, and then he got visited by fucking Vaughn. I'm like, bro, if you ever I'm gonna beat this nigga's ass, bro. Oh this nigga's already Second been on... Second plane. So For real. <laughs> <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga started floating in his fucking no, double like, cups. Literally, all you heard was, he's a phantom. Nah! Like is... Daddy Panthers, they just start playing. This you know, nigga, like, oh, wow. For real, this nigga out here got weed shot, bro. Like, shit like that, this nigga's been on nut shit the whole year, bro. First, it's well, I him. think the Chopper might be a fucking prophet, bro. All right. Head okay. at the Church of Chopper. <laughs> He's like, okay, all right, let me pull up the cheap, let me, let me pull up the cheap menu. Hold on. Head up, at the, 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 right. the Chopper Ghost Church. Mode? Okay. Head at <laughs> everybody. Welcome to the Chopper Church. Ever since that nigga oh, said the nigga was sitting in a pond, and he's his fucking like or chakras or auras was like the ripples in the water. I'm like, bro, you can't come you from know, like we can't uh, listen to a nigga like you make Camelot, right? You made like the eight versions of Shadow right. Flow. I'm not gonna listen to any or there believe are five, any of this shit. okay? Eight K to Joy open with one remix. Eight K to Joy open. Eight K to Clout open. Hit the, shut the fuck out of here, get the bro. I'm just like. We go by he's gonna listen. Now he's gonna believe this shit, bro. This nigga sitting in his uh fucking uh Louis V bonnet saying all this goofy shit, bro. I'm like, man, just cut that shit out. The clout chasing needs to stop. What are you gonna say, Chris? Oh no. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I was I knew Chuck was going through his own shit, like not like with like violence or anything. I knew like he wasn't he like suicidal not too long ago? I don't know, but I know he said he denounced his violent rap waves. Ways, but we'll still sorry, do it. But as soon as you said that, I, a I, I rapper, bro. She might as well the be. What? I'm Annalee Chapel. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You're like, man, I love Jesus. Jesus is the man. Jesus soon is as my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soon as I see a fucking about to... bro, man's about to oh, release oh, five oh, different versions. <laughs> exactly, bro. Man's about to release five different versions, bro. Head as well, we got church flow, and you gotta have the remix of shadow flow. We gotta have those five remixes. You know how it go, bro. Church flow. I don't know. That sound. That sound like an album name. Head as <laughs> pull up God. with his little church I, socks. I, I might listen. <laughs> I might listen. Oh no. If it's uh, if it's I like uh, like... Haven, I don't know if I can do it. Head oh. as. <laughs> That motherfucker's going to go to a whole fucking church to Better fucking record and fucking ad lib. Bro, bro. Get up, bro. Wow. Man, get up, fuck. <laughs> bro, that man's ad libs are going to need to be. Yeah, and every... Take your time, Pastor. Take your time, <laughs> Pastor. So we're going to play the Preach. organ in the background, though. <laughs> okay, that might sound pretty far when it just needs to happen. <laughs> oh. But, but, bruh, like, come on, though. Like, hopefully, this is sadly, it takes a, a, a death, a death of a, a known rapper. How, like, how do you feel like shit like this going forward with rappers, like, uh, going in and they're like, basically, they, we all know these niggas aren't about that life, but they're still rapping about the guns, the violence, and all this shit, all this and that and shit. And they just they project this, um, gangster rap persona for for music and then when niggas start so, checking them shit starts going like straight to like shit how do y'all feel about that 
well, to me, they to me it sells. They of course, like, yeah, okay, of course. Like that. Oh, they were rapping about it. All right, they must be about it. Yeah, yeah. The persona of ignorance, clout, drugs, guns, women. That is a persona that's never going to disappear because for some fucking re- reason, this is going to sound very foreigner of uh, me, bro. Americans eat that shit up. Here's, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Niggas love ignorance, bro. Niggas love well, ignorance, bro. I... You know, some people are actually going to say it's based off the stereotype that we got to act that way. Exactly. Oh, yes. Which that's which is which is like not to get all like racial about it right but that's the exact person that when some people see a fucking black man with that type of hair that's the first thing they think oh this man must be on some fucking Italy chop of fucking king bond type of fucking shit right yeah. nope. it, it way wrong it just fucking makes things worse for everyone because then you almost get seen as uncool if you don't act that way exactly. and it creates more niggas that act that way Exactly, because mm-hmm. once you start getting... I've been criticized for my music choice. I mean, that's you, though, but you ain't out here. There's one thing of listening to it, but when you're out here making the music, that's another thing. Obviously, there's a lot of niggas in the game that rap that way, but do not live that shit. When they get checked, it's a whole fucking problem, and it's sad. It's just like, music, though. Yeah. I wouldn't even take it through, so it's just music. Yeah. Like, that's what it's meant for, entertainment. But there's niggas out there that do not care, though. They feel like, oh, they're doing this, they repping this, apparently they do this and they do that. And then there's niggas that are on the outside that will, they take that shit serious. It's not just music. And they'll, they'll fucking come up to you about it. Uh, a slight example, uh, it was a few years ago, um, I was up north and I was at a fucking Walmart. Nigga, I just had a fucking red polo on. Two niggas pull uh, up on me. They oh, said, "Oh, yeah, you fucking told me about that." Yeah, <laughs> these these, yeah. these these niggas pull up on me, bro. You blood? I'm like, nigga, what? I just have a red shirt on. I was like, no. And these niggas just looked at me and just disappeared. He said, "Aye." Yeah, this eye <laughs> and they disappeared in the fucking clothes, bro. I'm like, bro, I gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> these niggas about to get it. I dip out too, bro. bro. bro hold up. These niggas just, they saw me in my fucking red and white Nikes and a red shirt. These niggas thought I was out here fucking just repping. I'm like, bro, it's not. It, no. You're blowing it up. For real, bro. Like, no, bro. No. <laughs> but it's just like, and that's just me wearing clothes. Like, I just like the shirt and the shoes. Nigga, excuse me. These niggas are out here rapping that shit. That's different. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I, like, obviously. I can't tell niggas what to do. It's the industry. That shit sells. Sounds nice. Shit's fire. You know, you, you do what you do. But niggas ought to realize that there's repercussions one way or another. You can either be out here like 6 9 and be like... Oh, internet troll? Yeah, trolling like a motherfucker, mm-hmm. but then have 2 billion fucking security guards around you and shit. Yeah, because then they already got kidnapped. <laughs> exactly. <And> that shit ain't <laughs> happening again. Or... <laughs> They can make sure you don't get kidnapped again. Exactly. But still don't like his ass though. Exactly. But it, niggas don't want to do that. I wouldn't want to go through that shit. And then there's the I one. I want to get kidnapped. Exactly. <laughs> to begin with. And he was actually living a life to a degree. Like Isaac said earlier, he was living a life. But shit, he just got too damn deep. And shit, it's, it's a, it was over with. So yeah. uh, that's all I got to say. Anybody else? Um, no, I think oh, it's like mostly on the head. Like, yeah, no, it's just really trying to find a balance between like rapping about it and like living a life. But like, you're gonna get checked and un- like if you do mm-hmm. rap about it, it's it's an unfortunate thing. It happens. It's been a constant for well for as long as like the genre has taken its turn toward that. Exactly. For, like decades. Like even like you know obviously the old heads that like the now old heads have all had to deal with that shit. 50 and jaw you know, mm-hmm. everybody knows about that shit mm-hmm. they almost getting stabbed because of yeah the stupid shit between those two yeah um, yeah no it's always a constant it's like it's a constant like you know you like it's yeah it's for the sake of entertainment and the sake for you know getting paid mm-hmm. but it really like you know these people gotta look internally and say like you know it gets real <laughs> is it is it worth <laughs> people that's not even involved in this shit potentially getting whacked <laughs> I don't think it is, but hey, bro. Well, uh, my whole like 
take on uh, on other things is that like the whole like drugs and sex like that whole persona will will like never disappear because right now it seems as if it right uh right uh now it seems as if it's like stemming from like rap culture right but mm -hmm. back in the fucking day it wasn't just from from like rap bro it was like you know you had them old timey ass thugs mm -hmm. like <laughs> you had them motherfuckers in fucking time. suits and shit bro yes, more was fucking yes. fucking why i oughta You'll never yeah, catch me alive, Copper. <laughs> I'll pull up with the fucking pull up with that Derringer, the Dillinger, nigga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hell, hell no, nah. the have at D. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, exactly, bro. It's just, it's um, just, it's um, just because those are the most influential and powerful things in the world. As sad as it seems, motherfuckers love drugs, sex, guns, money. <laughs> yeah, nope. it sells though. <laughs> And if you can sell a fake image for whatever the f fucking cost, you you just you just throw your morals and ethics out the fucking window exactly. for a bag. For a bag. <laughs> Be prepared if you're about to go in one. That's, that's just how I would, that's what I feel. But anyway, <clears throat> um, before we started this podcast, uh, the week coming up to it. Uh, Biden got his uh, presidential uh, victory royale over uh, old yeah. Donnie Trumpet, over Donnie Trumpet, and yeah, along with Donnie that, Trumpet. and on top of that, we have our first black woman vice president in U.S. history. Woman oh, done made. She, she, ooh, she made she made double time fucking history, bro. I mean, at the same it's time, tri Alice, it's triple threat, isn't it? She's women, first woman, first black, first. Asian, yeah, so yeah, 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 oh, yeah. True, 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 true. Kamala, how you probably pronounce it. Yeah, it's, okay. yeah, it, it's a. Uh, first of all, round of applause to the woman. Round yes. of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. Uh, 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 uh. I'm add that in uh in post production. But uh, any, but um. Put in post. Yeah, I forgot to put it in the soundboard. But uh, my, it was a long time coming, guys. Old. It was a long time uh, coming. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, it's really going to see what, how, like, you know, these next four years are going to handle, but it's just a step away from what the hell we've had to deal with for the last four years. Yeah. That's what do y'all think the supporters for, for are going to do about it? Because, you know, um, you, I said you already know the supporters for Trump are uh, kind of wild. Oh, you remember yeah, before, the motherfuckers going to be hard. like... You think we're done? Haven't you heard of voter fraud? The red race still coming, boy. That's like that. <laughs> like that, bro. Voter fraud. Yeah, it's we've it's heard that fucking... countless I mean, times, bro. But he will never say it's fraud when it's for him. No one ever will. Well, Everyone will think, oh, at, yeah, my fucking supporters are legit, bro. Look at it this way, bro. Remember when Hillary got her ass beat? Uh, she like, wanted a recount, but motherfucker said no. Yeah, and you see what the uh, the fucking uh, Trump people said. After they the can't dub? believe they can't believe he lost bro they can't fucking believe it i'm like bro it's an election I mean, whoever wins wins they can quit being a little bitch about it like like yeah he, he tried to claim he, like he tried to um, clutch on to the fact that he got the most vote votes as a sitting president yeah but i but mean you know the, well when it comes to the popular vote but yeah look at biden he has the highest popular vote of like all time mm-hmm Exactly. Like regardless of sitting president. Right. And when uh when um Hillary lost, everybody was just like, Oh, uh, you know, gotta deal with it. Don't be a crybaby about it. Ha ha ha. Trump twenty twenty bitch. Yep. And then now that he took the L I wanna recount everybody, recount like come no, on. I don't like it. I, no. no, no, I will not. I will not have it. No. My nigga, now I ain't gonna lie. I was a little disappointed back in twenty sixteen. Of course, everybody yeah. was, but I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, I mean, it, it is what it is. Got you know, she lost. Uh, you know, we gotta he see what happens and shit like that. And these niggas ain't even like entertaining the idea. Like, damn, y'all niggas was having so much fun being openly racist for this, you know, for four years. Y'all just want to continue doing I'm it. Racism huh? cool, no longer be validated. Oh my god, fuck, <laughs> fuck. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> But they came out of the woodworks and they don't want to go back into the woodwork. They're gonna stay they're gonna stay out here in the forefront. 
doing all the sh nasty shit that they've been doing because of this man being enabling them to do so. Exactly, bro. You motherfuckers gonna have to hide in the shafts for those uh, now, bro, because motherfucking Sleepy Joe fucking woke them niggas up, bro. He thought yeah. he was sleeping, bro. He was just preparing. I find it hilarious they call this nigga Sleepy Joe, bro. That is probably the most funniest shit I've ever heard. I just called this nigga Sleepy Joe. <laughs> like, what the? This, this nigga's dementia is so OP. This nigga falls asleep, bro. This nigga has Alzheimer's and fucking what's that shit called? You just fall asleep out of like nowhere. Narcolepsy. Yeah. Narco this nigga has narcolepsy, nigga. This nigga said narcolepsy. It's like a fucking ice cream flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. But uh. Ugly. <laughs> But uh, honestly, bro, I'm just I'm I'm ready. I'm just I'm I'm just ready to move on, bro. I'm ready to move on from this shit. Pat, I mean, for real, you could just like get over it. He won. Get over it. You gotta accept it now. I mean, them motherfuckers will gotta, never believe that. Them so <laughs> niggas will just. Oh, I'll let you go ahead, Chris. Go, go, go. No, you go. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> they might as well just get used to hearing people say our our president. And oh. I still just get ready to get used to that. Hashtag not my president. <laughs> I didn't vote for him. I hear that shit constantly, bro. <laughs> 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 what I was gonna like, say is literally it's them getting their rhetoric thrown back into their face. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it's just funny to see. Especially to see. Especially after hold everything up, hold up, hold up. after everything hitting such a fever pitch fast in the past couple months, bro. Like this shit was like unreal since like the whole, the whole um every all the riots and everything for George Floyd, everything just sounded like, all this shit felt like a, a fucking dream, honestly, a bad Fuck. a bad it, ass I mean, nah not a dream a fucking nightmare. <laughs> twenty twenty was indeed some fucking film, bro. This, this probably some fucking Stephen King shit, bro. For real. <laughs> And, change the channel. And anybody for real anybody to sit here and think like this shit's okay like all this shit is just being like swept under the rug and just being like embraced down there like like what like who the fuck wants to vote for this? it shouldn't it should have been it shouldn't have been an easier fucking like decision now honestly for me uh i have my reservations about both candidates no. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of either one of yeah. them, but yeah, neither. But my it nigga. was a lesser of two evils vote last year. But I'm, but I'm gonna look. Yeah, I'm gonna look dead but at I you. I wasn't enough. old enough to vote fuck. at that time, but fucking you know, sperm. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna look at you dead in your fucking eyes and say, my nigga, you think this is okay? You think this is? You think this is just fine when people are asked? Bro, when Trump supporters um, are asked, shit. like, like, like this is like. Right now, compared to five years ago, do you think you're better off now than you were back then? And niggas have the fucking gall, the audacity to tell them yes. <laughs> I'm better off yeah. now than I was. The world, no, not just them. The world, the United States is better off <laughs> right now than it was five years ago. Oh, is that so? Yeah, because this is this America first attitude, brother. This fucking America don't need nobody. Bro... It was, okay. It, it was just it was it was just it was so sad to watch shit like that. Like y'all niggas are seriously sitting like y'all are just fucking pussy whip damn near. I was just sitting here like this shit's cool. This is I. Right. This was this was hot in the streets hey, right now. This was hot in the streets. Racism. Yeah. I. <laughs> this was popping, bro. What the fuck? Where'd you want to say, uh, Keontae? Uh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I got new Tekken pops. No what? Tekken pops and the ones I collect, they got Tekken characters. Bro, let's go. They got more of them. Anyway, were you gonna say Keontae? I don't know. I thought you were talking about some like candy or some other whole fucking pop, like Tekken pops. What? Oh, the figurines. <laughs> okay. You gonna say? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's weird. Hello. Yeah, he's still here. All right, Chris. You what were you gonna say? This nigga weird, bro. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I think I, I got out what I was going to say. Like, mm -hmm. he's not really, um, personally for me, not the greatest and not as far as I would like for things to go, but, you know, definitely needs just a proper step away from where we were headed. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my two cents. Most definitely. 
You can't um, even get rid of the people being prejudiced, though. Exactly. Oh, no, that's, no. I mean, that's going to resist like, forever. Actually, I'm pretty sure, like, recently, like, <laughs> <laughs> the proud, like, you know, the, you know, the proud boy people, right? Like, uh-huh. some of them, like, like, I remember seeing, like, some, like, brief headline. I scrolled past it about how, um. He's tired of not um one of them like they're tired of not calling themselves Nazis because <laughs> like that's essentially <laughs> how they've been identified. They just said, you know, we're proud boys, but they really believe in themselves as being Nazis. Yeah, because they, 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 they've been crazy. Yeah, because uh-huh. they've been basically they were encouraged to do so, and in their eyes, uh, it's not is being uh, what's what's that shit called being patriotic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I what? guess uh, I just want to point out this point. Uh, Levi called Chris a bootlicker. <laughs> bootlicker. Levi called Chris a commie bootlicker. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> Why? What the fuck did he do? Hey, what did you do, Chris? I don't know what I did. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know what I did. Shit, I don't know what you did either. You call a commie bootlicker, bro. <laughs> No idea. That's still funny. But uh yeah. Um got the man in here because I'll make his ass work. Just because this man's in office doesn't mean everything's a hunky dory now. You know, we oh, gotta no. have we got our expectations. Yeah. a lot of fucking work to be done. You gotta have this, <laughs> this this nigga this sleepy nigga better be fucking awake when we <laughs> fucking we hear our fucking demands, no cap. Her and com him and Com little brother niggas better get to fucking work, bro. And if they don't, nigga, <laughs> Well, oh well. Uh, <laughs> Tom, he's gonna be be like, y'all hear something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleep. <laughs> the boy gonna sleep on the Zoom call. But uh, what else we got next? We got next. We got next. What we got next? Um. So obviously, the new consoles have been dropped. Uh, Xbox Series X and whatever the fuck the small one is called. And the PlayStation yes. Five, yes, yes, yes. Um, but with that, of course, every year there's the uh, the launch problems. And this year, um, much like the last uh, generation, uh, overheating. Both consoles have been yep. reported for a massive, for a, basically, uh, been a lot of reports of uh, overheating for both consoles. Um, how do y'all feel about that? Um, that like, like we've already had this conversation, but you know. Consoles are getting more powerful as they should if you want to, you know, in a, like innovate your shit for more powerful uh, games I and seen software any and shit. Things overheating. Well, There's I, a lot I, of overheating oh, yeah, issues like, going on. There's a I lot. I mean, I I really didn't hear a lot about um the series. I, I I did hear about a little bit, but not like a lot. I know like that smoke video from the P on um, the Series X was fake. That shit was real fake. <laughs> so yeah. blew into their fucking like blue vape and like blew out it like used their vape and blew into their Xbox to make it look like that. But mm-hmm. I know for certain like one YouTuber I do watch like their PS5 completely died on them. Yeah, there was like, a they were it was a damn review copy a uh, review yeah. uh, and then bitches died out. Did they get reimbursed? I mean, oh, I think they got another. Oh, you said a review copy. copy. It was a review one. thing. Yeah. Never mind, because yeah, yeah, I was going to be it was who? Yeah, ACG. It's um, um this YouTuber that I follow. But yeah, no, it com- he's completely fucking died. <laughs> but yeah, Sony ended up reimbursed. I like giving him another one. They better. And I think he. I think he got <laughs> his. I think he got his review of uh, of it out now. But like, I haven't been able to watch it. But yeah, no, I was following like you know on my Twitter stream. I saw on my Twitter on feed. I saw that yeah, it just straight up died on them. Like Jesus. <laughs> Too bad consoles can't be perfect like the Switch. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we already had this. We, we already had this argument. Bro, that's... yo, yo, Tokyo. Where the fuck that song is, bro? <laughs> okay. But a phone should not have more storage than a Switch. Shit, oh, there's bro. phones that have more graphical power <laughs> than the Switch. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, no, well, no, the no, Switch no, ain't no. that perfect. It was a joke, Bobby. <laughs> no, I don't know that. Yeah, bro. I, I knew it was. That's why voice, I, 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 voice has one You attacked him, Isaac? Uh, I <laughs> your, think R slash whoosh. 
This nigga, this nigga hit him, him with the Reddit speak. Oh, I'm dead, bro. I'm gonna jump out my window now. <laughs> but, uh, of course, um, I don't know what the fuck these people expected. Like, this shit, all, uh, the, all these fucking high tier specs to go into these little ass plastic cases with, uh, mediocre ventilation. Like, nothing's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. Oh, hey, um, that Xbox oh. rumored to be liquid cooled, ain't it? Weren't they supposed to have liquid cooling in that PS5 and that Xbox? I didn't hear no. anything about that. Uh, they have, um, so the Xbox One X uses some weird vortex style cooling. Um, I saw them do like a piece by piece, like taking the console up apart. It's just, Isn't it like, liquid metal? Um, oh, 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 you mean that? I, I'm unsure. I need to relook at the video I had to watch, but I just know that they use like, one they use like one or two like 120 mil fans and it like blows through it's like vortex out the top and i was like bruh that that fucking cooling is bad it's not gonna work for what they think it's gonna work for because you because you can't say that your console is going to run at like 4k and have a chassis that tight and tight tight and fucking small and have it be at a, a price point at where graphics cards that run games at 4K cost more than the console its damn self. Like, let's be oh, real here. Okay, but here's a counter to that. Do I trust the random nigga on let's the internet that. or a trillion dollar I mean, corporation? The article that I'm reading right now actually says that I will try and run Monster wait, World on Wait, are you referring to, like, the video that I watch? Or did you read, or did you read, read it from the actual company? What are you talking about? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you're asking me if you trust some random nigga on the internet, but I'm unsure what you're referring to. You were the random nigga on the internet. Yeah, but this is based <laughs> off of a video where Linus went to Microsoft. Hey, yo, fuck Linus Tech Tips, nigga. Piece. We don't fuck with Linus Tech Tips over here, nigga. Gang, 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 gang. All I know for sure is nigga, like the elf. Xbox at Series X is cooler than the PS5. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing. I yeah. remember seeing. That. Well, like, and, and like, apparently, and like, to get, I'm, the article that I'm reading right now actually shows that the Series X when running that monster hunter at 1880 at um mid about um, um almost 60 frames is still cooler than a one x so in terms of the xbox series x being cool i think it's gonna be cool they built it i mean there's a tech company that specializes in making the computer os you telling me they can't cool an Xbox console? Well, also on top of that, I feel like... I, I mean... Hold on, hold on. Sony hold on. specializes in tech too. Well, yeah, but I feel like just... A lot of these things can be avoided just like placement of the console, really. I've seen a lot of this shit just like... Oh, my shit's overheating and it's basically sitting in a fucking like concealed fucking box. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfuckers that put their consoles in those like TV-like oh. stands, like yeah. crowded as fuck, they, they fucking deserve to have they shit hot as fuck. Yeah. And get fucking roaches in that console and shit. Yeah. Oh. Like, uh, the, the big thing that was going, that happened was the, uh, it was the, uh, the reports for the PlayStation 5 first overheating. And they showed pictures and shit. Uh, they didn't tell, uh, the people that were, like, sharing this shit, like, oh, look, the PlayStation 5 is overheating, it's trash and shit. They didn't give you the information that, one, this was a fucking, um, a fucking kiosk, basically. This was on, like, just for show at a store. Uh, two, the fucking PlayStation was basically in a fucking concealed glass box with no ventilation that was just, like, just enough, just big enough to hold the fucking PlayStation 5 in it. So, of course, the bitch is gonna overheat when it's being ran for 24 fucking hours non-stop in a yeah. Coles box. Um, yeah, those fucking store consoles are never turned off, so you can't really base anything on fucking exactly. those. Exactly. Not anyway. Exactly. So, the, these narratives, all this shit, it's just like, well, there's a lot of things that go into it and shit like that. I didn't know that niggas' PlayStation 4s are overheating. I've had my PlayStation 4 since 2015, and um, it's one of, like, the old base models and shit. Yes, that it bitch sounds like a rocket ship. Yeah, though. yes, that bitch revs up like it's a fucking death machine, but never, <laughs> never has a motherfucking shout out on me, and my room gets hot as fuck. 
that shit is oh, yes. never over. <laughs> that shit has never overheated on me. So yeah, I've seen people with with a uh, some of my friends PS4 Pros have mm -hmm. gotten so hot that it emergency turns off. Yeah, I don't like. I don't understand. <laughs> Like nigga, unless niggas' rooms are just uber fucking dusty. I clean my um, shit out every now and again. Yes, uh, these are these are people whose fucking dorm rooms are on the highest floor of a uh, dorm that's hot as shit. So I expected that to happen to them. Yeah, but that's just. It. But yeah, it's basically it's all about placement, hair, how you know. There's a lot. There's a lot of like. Um, there's a lot of variables that go into overheating and shit. So honestly, it's like a case by case thing. Uh. Now I think I feel like, as we all you know, true gamers know, you shouldn't buy consoles off rip. You, uh, basically let the fucking launch go by. Let that just blow by. I don't know about that. Uh, I ain't gonna let you say that statement. No, 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 no. First of all, I this is my hold on. I hold on, hold on, hold on, Isaac. Let me get this off. Let me get my shit off real quick. Then you can go. You can go. What the way I feel about it. If a console's just new and all this shit's going around, the software is buggy, is overheating, all this shit, whatever you want it to be, I rather let that shit happen to them, so the fucking companies can get the fucking software and shit, the hardware tweaked out, so by the time I buy mine, I can be able to get a more stable product. That's what I should do on my fucking Switch. When the f Switch first dropped yeah. around the same time, I got a Switch, and then look, my fucking Joy Cons are slipping out. I've never dropped my Switch ever. I don't know why the fuck my Joy Cons won't stay in my fucking thing. I'm getting drift on my left, my left fucking Joy Con. Uh, a bunch of shit, a bunch of shit. So, you could have got, but you used the Switch as an example when those problems still happen to every Switch. Oh uh, no, nah, there was an article uh the, about them uh basically um. Fixing and returning other fucking people's shits so that you know send them to Nintendo and get it fixed and then for future uh, Copies of the switch were being you know looked at more closely for the joy-con fucking drift and shit like that So I have eh. a switch light exactly and it has joy-con drift and it, And the switch light is the newest Nintendo console so. exactly. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't trust that shit either like newest inter iterations basically if it's the new base playstation let that shit go okay then i get that one if they release another playstation whatever the fuck happens for that okay go ahead wait a couple months and then then get it this happens for every version of anything there's always bugs for whatever the fuck's release these niggas will make a new thing and once a new object is created there's always problems with it you know at launch this this, this, this okay. just how shit is i just give okay, people but... a time like you know some time to fix it that's but just you me forget about the fact that let's say you want to play the new spider-man and 4k or 60 and you want to play the new demon souls because it's only on the ps5 okay and you saying you advocating people not get the day one editions but you can't play it anywhere else i'll have to wait and the ps5 is perpetually sold out everywhere and it's going to be sold out everywhere yeah, for like I... the next eight months just like Bruh. the switch was Bruh, for me i just it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't matter for me. There, so you have I, feel like, I but, feel like that is a completely defensible idea, though. I feel like it I, with these current consoles, so far, it has they've been proven that they are pretty damn well done for the first round. Of course, Compared yes. to last gen. Mm -hmm. I, I, I totally get where you're coming from with the trepidation. Mm -hmm. I, I like, again, I would have, like, you know, I, I, I just personally not get what was wrong with the PS4 when it first came out. Like the I same mean, problem. The PS4. Honestly, I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't I didn't see anything wrong with the PS4. I got, I got a PlayStation know? Four like four twenty. This shit came out twenty twelve, right? I got my PlayStation Four. Yeah, twenty. Yeah, twenty thirteen. I got mine two years later. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the PS4 when it came Error out. Error messages, broken HDMI. HDMI. Oh yes, uh, there yes, yes, issue yes, where yes. You couldn't use a PS4 with an Elgato. Oh what? Elgato streaming uh, device. Yeah, because capture um, cards. Yeah, because oh, um, oh. Sony had the HDMI port like locked or some shit. That uh, affected. You couldn't do anything to it. That affected the handful actually, of niggas. There are there are a couple of like my minor things. I know like um P the PS5 initially doesn't support um third um external um memory currently. That is true. 
that, that's not, that's just that's an update. not like a hardware issue. Yeah. I'm talking about hardware console failing issues. Well, he did give you, he gave you, he gave you examples. The it's HDMI not. thing is a very much a true thing. Since I, what was the HDMI thing? Um, HDMI fucking cable not being to, uh, able to connect. Essentially, you plug the bitch in, and then no screen will pop up. And uh, I can attest to that. I do have a, a basically Gen One PlayStation Four. And there are times when I put my fucking HDMI cord in and it would just like sit there. I basically just let it like jiggle it and just let it sit there for a minute and then the shit will start working. So yeah, it's happened to a lot of people in my family is <clears throat> my family as well. I know niggas that HDMI ports just shit out completely. They had to get a whole new PlayStation. Dang. Yeah. So, that make me mad. Yeah. So, what about the Xbox One? Xbox One. People didn't like about that is on on launch day you had to have fucking that's that's internet oh, yeah. turn that shit on. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not, without internet. That's, 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 that was, that's, that's not hardware. Thing. That's just that's just that's software. <laughs> Nick's <is> being <laughs> weird. Let me look this up. Xbox you know One. Mad I was. I'm doing the same. Thing. No, I'm mad. I couldn't use that bitch, bro. This nigga, I had a whole, this nigga had a whole oh, year of brick. A Xbox <laughs> brand she brick. Was, <laughs> she was sitting there, bro, like, damn. Can you play my Xbox, bro? That, Go. bro. bro. I should have sat outside your house saying, hell's and saying, and then, And then what made it worse, you had motherfuckers who brick my console and I had to fix it. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking bro, about. Who are you talking to? That, bro, fucking, so, there was an, <laughs> what are you so, talking so, to? so, there's an issue where you could brick the Xbox, right, and, and I don't remember how, but, oh boy, how do you it, manage that? but, <laughs> it, don't ask me, ask, ask my fucking brother. Oh, I didn't, this nigga bricked your Xbox, I did not know that. Yeah, he fucking bricked it twice, so I had to fix it. Hell no. Nah. I didn't do it, KJ. <laughs> Being the last motherfucker that touched the console, oh, oops. I'm seeing uh, broken disk drivers, faulty drivers. Look, mine just gave out, so I don't, I don't know. Mine for real, like just gave out, like a and month for some ago. reason. I know this is a problem too. Uh, fucking uh, Wi-Fi for certain fucking Xboxes would work differently, and that's fucking weird. Yeah. What do you be forced? What to do you mean by that? The fucking... That all depends on the like. I don't, cause I don't think they use the same like general parts, like the, the same like Nick card. That's the that's that's the fucking shit that they use for the fucking Wi-Fi on uh, the fucking consoles, right? I don't think they use the same exact one each and every time. That's like a business questionable thing, but that can happen where shit just doesn't work, and it it just fucks up for everybody. Yeah. Well, not everybody, but yeah, you know, and uh, a general handful. Yeah, cause for some reason my Xbox. Compared to Gabriel's Xbox, uh, his will work way better on Wi-Fi, and I have the older uh, Halo edition, and mine would just be shitting out. Download speeds will be ass. I could barely connect to parties while this nigga is just doing everything I want to do seamlessly, like flawlessly. And his was a newer you model. In the lead box. Also performance. Yeah, so his is, a, you know, a different version. But yeah, that's just my point. Uh, I just wait on... Uh, Neither of the new consoles have an optical audio port anyway. That's what uh, Levi just said in chat, too. But I don't know who really uses optical auto audio ports anyway when you can just use a USB. I don't. But yeah, that that's something to be brought up, though. But, I mean... It doesn't affect but, uh, 90% of anybody. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, me, I mean, it was nice. I just got the controller. It's better. Oh, it's better. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, that yeah, that hyped up one. controller that people selling for a hundred dollars on StockX right now <laughs> with a Supreme I sticker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they selling. They selling a PS5 controller for a hundred dollars. That's fucking goofy. But hey, I, like I told Isaac before, it's a better overall controller than the four. Uh, so slight. I have slight gripes with it, but overall, uh, for what I use controllers for, what I play, the games I play, it's a lot better. Uh, Tekken. I, I, you say what? I ain't never seen a controller. I was gonna say I kind of like can't that. wait until I can I kind of want to try it on a PS5 because I want to see how that haptic feedback does play into. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I'm just a simple nigga, so I just got the controller just so I can. Oh yeah. Yeah, I Absolutely. just play. Yeah, I just played it on PC, but um, 
before I go into anything deeper, uh, the PlayStation 4 had a big ass problem with me. Well, for me, um, you know how the D-pad is like, you know, they should be separate buttons because that's how like the uh, PlayStation D-pad is, you know, four separate buttons. Um, to do a back dash, a Korean back dash, it's back, back, down, back, back. I would press back, but if I tilt my thumb slightly down, it would register as a crouch movement. Ooh. But I'm still pressing back. So in Tekken, you can't like you duck under highs, but you get hit by mids. I'm trying to back dash and my ass is getting hit by goofy ass moves because my fucking D pad is fucking lame. So the PlayStation 5, and I this I tried I tried this shit out immediately as I played Tekken. There's no more you're holding <laughs> back and you're still crouching. It's you know, if you hold the direction, that's the direction you're going. So that's all I needed. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I cared about. With Drake and Travis Scott both getting PlayStation 5s, and Travis Scott getting, like, has some type of, like, project coming out with PlayStation, is that going to make all the hype beasts get PS5s? Well, that, that automatically makes uh, PlayStation superior. That <laughs> makes the supreme love of Travis Scott. <laughs> White boys. Levi, I know you're in chat. Would you be getting a PlayStation 5 now? Would you be turning in your PC for a PlayStation 5? Uh, Travis Scott theme. The uh, the sicko <laughs> console. <laughs> um, you said the sicko combo. The sicko console. Oh, <laughs> let's talk about how they ruined Black Ops Cold oh, War. What happened? I I didn't play uh, the. Uh, there are a bunch of that there's because bunch, it, there's only only two new maps to, that weren't right, in the beta. Oh, it really? only has like it only has I think thirty one guns in the entire game. So, you already know more guns are coming. Out all the secondaries. Oh yeah. I mean they don't expand that shit with uh, DLC anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, but it's I feel like it sounds only one like they're gun probably... per season. They're going to do like the what? per season. They're, not, they're going to do the seasons be. What the? Hey, bro. We don't hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, uh, we don't give out medals for future content. Game <laughs> at launch only has eight maps, and we already know three of them terrible. I haven't even played we get it. Two new maps that ain't been played. This game has the fewest content out of any Call of Duty to it's, ever it's, exist. The score it streak like system Warfare, is but disgustingly they, broken. It, it takes. Like what they, yeah, you gotta go 50. And five to get a chopper gunner. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Please tell me you're joking, right? They increased the score limit it. on the chopper gunner, so you gotta be like, go 50 and five to get one. What? Sounds goofy as fuck. Well, shit. Well, damn. Well, so that eliminates you know that TDM. Well, you can't get it in TDM. You well, can only play, you, well, got, you gotta play Domination. No. Or that little uh, ground war mode on two trash maps. Hell no. Um, it's a wrap. We're gonna say, uh, Chris. It just sounds like it just sounds like they're trying to copy the formula of modern of last year's modern warfare with half the work. That's that's all. <laughs> no, nowadays. Like they, it sounds like they it sounds like they want to do the system in which they did the free. They're gonna follow the path of doing free. DLC, but it's gonna, it's literally cutting content and then like a, a lot of content and slowly trickling it out. Bro, they cut the V set out the game. No. It was in the leaks. We jack, we seen the gameplay of the V set in the leaks. But, um, you know what? You know, then saw... we came out a couple days. They cut it out the game to I add all that they. Oh, go ahead, my bad. In DLC, they add stuff that's already made in Imagine DLC. Imagine fucking DLC score lazy. streaks. I'd be pissed. That'd be that some good. That game uh... lazy, bro. <laughs> the game even looked worse than Modern Warfare. No, yeah, it <laughs> like on when I when I was playing it, it legit felt like Never. a game that should have came out like eight years ago or whenever the hell the game. Like it should have been the game that came out between Black Ops and Black Ops Two. It does not. It it does not feel new. It, hey. it doesn't feel it doesn't new. Look Modern new. Warfare looks way fucking better. It does not look new. Modern Warfare looks way fucking better. Infinite, um, I keep Infinity Ward putting the word to make I say, um, Infinite, Infinite Warfare, Warfare bro. really good. <laughs> yeah, I keep War. trying to say Infinite Warfare, but I'm trying to say Infinity War. Infinity Ward. But, um, 
I thank you know, God that I, Infinity War definitely put in a lot more work. I feel War. This so great. I'm so happy that Warzone's gonna be on that Infinity Wards. Oh yeah, their engine. Oh. Their engine yeah, instead of that trash, like that, but... that trash Black Ops engine. So okay, so here's the thing: Are they just keeping like um, Warzone we have now, or just updating it, or is it gonna? Yeah, be adding like, see how it's like they're, going they're, to the turns because... in the Warzone Cold War, like December. 10th. Yeah, because um, yeah, because uh, yeah. Warzone is much too popular now for them to ever drop it, mm. ever. I feel, I feel like they're going it like I aren't they they're like letting you use both games as loadouts and stuff. Yep, they gonna like, add yeah, the weapons yeah, from Cold War. Um, so just Warzone. yeah, so just know that fucking they're gonna be another sixty gig update or some shit. Yeah, you know, it's, it's gonna hurt you niggas on console. Because... <laughs> oh, they let you download whatever parts of the game you want now. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. It's I think the multiplayer um, section is only like thirty gigs. I mean, uh, there's only eight maps, of course. <laughs> you got four, five yeah, guns. Exactly. <laughs> the game has no content. Hell no. Nah. I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know. I didn't know there was only going to be that many maps. That's really fucking terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. This is probably like the least hyped COD I've seen in a, in a minute, honestly. I mean, yeah. Because we go from the amazing greatness. Of modern warfare to this trash. Modern warfare has its moments, but this shit. Yeah. Like getting quick scoped instantly in this game. The yeah, um, snipers were complaining about the fucking um, beta I'm instantly. Like, day I'm, one. I'm, I'm seeing, bro. I was playing. I was playing the beta with um. I was playing with the beta with um, one of our like someone that we know, mm -hmm. but um, I legit like it was that map with like the boats and stuff. Mm -hmm. I went on like. A ten kill streak, just fucking sniping the people at like the front of the ship. It was nasty. <laughs> then if you play in this game on like the original PS4, PS4 and the Xbox One, you can't really you can't see a single thing because the little resolution is so god awful. <laughs> a base, a base and then the frame rate constantly be dropping. The game's unplayable to me on an Xbox One and a PS4. Mm. It may as well be a 360. Damn, really? <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, it's, 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 I was playing it on my PS4 back when they did the little uh, alpha and beta early, and they gave them early access. Mm -hmm. It was, Bro, you could not see across the map. The game resolution is so bad. Then the frame rate drops so all the time on it. So this, so this, is, this look, mean, is this looking like a um, a Christmas buy? Something I, you I get for thirty dollars? <laughs> I get it on the new Xbox and the PS5 mm. and PC, but, I, but like I played on the one fucking X and it was fine. PS3 but, type uh -huh. beat. Yeah, shit. <laughs> the game, <laughs> I mean, graphically, it was fine. It was the game ain't worth seventy dollars. Yeah, oh, like they trying to make you pay for it. And uh, then the P then people to get the PlayStation get those exclusive modes and the exclusive... they get exclusive zombies and they get two extra loadouts. They get extra Wait, loadouts extra loadouts in for multiplayer? And they get That's I, do, I think they get annoying. like Why? What the fuck type of shit? Skips. What type of they shit used to is make that? you pay for loadouts like back when was this fucking one for three? Yeah, I think so. It, it... You, um... <laughs> you had to pay for extra fucking loadout spaces like nigga, huh? Yeah, yeah, they give you, they give you extra loadouts off rip. Yeah, it's looking like a, a L. Flash I'm flash not copying this it. shit. I copped uh, I, 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 I copped Modern Warfare off of whim, honestly. You know, I wasn't really that pleased with it. It was an it was a, a experience, but overall, I, I could have. I love team. Modern Warfare. It's not bad. It's probably it's the best card I played in a minute. Okay. But I'm, yeah, I just I personally love Infinity Ward, right. Call of Duties. Yeah, I fucks with Black Ops too, and I fuck with Modern Warfare too. So I can't hate, but I know. like I think Infinity War make better Call of Duty, so I always prefer them. I've been a Treyarch per person, but uh, Modern Warfare is just too good. <laughs> so Black Ops Four was cool. Black Ops Three was terrible. Well, I just hated though. Black Ops Four's multiplayer. You know that nigga just getting death threats <laughs> over the Black Ops Four multiplayer was good to me, especially Bro. when they added the uh, the non like operator game mode where you couldn't use the little character abilities. 
I I wish I knew about that. I probably would have played it more. <laughs> Man, when they, no, when they added no, that no, game no. mode, the little played. supers. Yeah, when well, they took those out, yeah. that game mode it was it was amazing. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I actually liked it. Some of the guns are kind of kind of. When you can be but... kill from radiation from a nigga hiding in a building and you're outside of it, that was it's fundamentally the wrong. Especially when he gets armor when you're shooting at him. It was like nine times out of ten, I don't even use the freaking ability. And, no and also, boost didn't the like on everybody on this team by two hundred. Didn't it like get to an ex get to an extent where it denied you healing too? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, <laughs> if you like, it pretty much will lessen your health, and then it'll go away, but you can't like heal yourself up to max. So you'll then, be like a, stuck at like twenty health if you were at twenty. And then there was the nigga running around with a little taser bot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. My favorite Tempest, Tempest. That that fucking one hit kill electric shit. Yeah, I just remember dying to it anymore. and not niggas not niggas not killing with it. Yeah, I just remember niggas dying from it and not killing people with it. That's all I remember. No, I'm talking about his little robot that he would throw out and he would just oh, chase around good. that would stun you. Oh, oh, that that taser. I would you say put out your chest. I I like the Black Ops 3 variation of the Tesla more. Yeah. Hmm. Only because well you well you can say that it kind of was oh it was kind of was OP because you could just get a whole multi kill by killing one nigga. But still, but still. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want to but talking about that I want to get into another thing. Um, how do you guys feel about um games with solidified comp scenes? simplifying their gameplay to intrigue newer players and um how that turns away older players you know people that regularly you know they're regular to the old shit old kai's you know old you know shit we you know we all know and love and just twisting it for the newer generation how do you feel about that i i, I don't really agree with the um the old head comp motherfuckers because you would because you would want a competitive scene to be more competitive, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, they might simplify the gameplay to, to make it easier to be com competitive, right? But it's mm -hmm. not the niggas are, are going to be bad at the game. Right. It's it 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 just takes less time to get competitive at the game. I yeah, I feel like in any any way, like legacy players, if you have the game sense and you're going to the game. I feel it's like it's gonna win you anything regardless. Yeah, most I, of the time. I feel like you shouldn't. It shouldn't hinder you unless it's like a whole like swap. Like it's like a fucking point and click tech ass game. Yeah, like like, like yeah. shit like that. So it's just like games like COD, games like you know fighting games have this problem a lot. Um, nobody wants to play a game that's the same every fucking year. Um. Nobody wants to play a game that feels okay. like it's just in like stasis, like it's just stagnant. Yeah. Like I'm all for change and I'm all for competitive change too. Like with Halo, I understand how people love the uh no sprint, no armor abilities and stuff like that. But Boring. to uh, but uh at, at at a certain point, niggas are going to get tired of watching that and or playing it. You know what I'm, know what I'm saying? I would say that exactly. Smash is low key a good example of this. Yeah. Nah. Uh, oh yeah. Nah. It's a, it, it, I mean, it, it's a decent example. You're gonna like say. It's... So you're okay with them having Steve in the game? Oh, hold, oh, on. No, no, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not gonna get, in that. Steve, we're not gonna get into that. Down. We're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that, Chris. We, we what are you gonna say? That. What are you gonna say, Chris? <laughs> what are you gonna say, Chris? <laughs> I was just I've already seen enough of that. What, with your example, that's where I immediately went with the Halo example mm -hmm. because that is I feel I feel like that's the closest epitome that I can come up with. Like, yeah, it's definitely like look at like I go I frequently I have Master Chief on collection downloaded and I go back and I occasionally will play it. Like mm -hmm. you know the three Halos they you know they're the slower paced games and whatnot. I could not imagine someone whose first Halo is Halo Five go back and play, and Halo, play Halo. Yeah, <laughs> it, it would not. It would not be a fun time. It would not be a like, fun time. So, and I personally do feel like I personally do feel like, especially when it comes to a game like Halo, like 
I, I yeah, make it yeah. There's nothing wrong with making it more accessible to a new. I I don't feel like that's anything wrong with making it um accessible to the new audience. Mm-hmm. I feel like what needs to be balanced is yeah, introduce these new systems that are definitely more accessible to a newer audience, right? But also give something that has like a layer of complexity for the older players. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. The people like again, like still thinking of Halo. Halo, yeah, you, the new movement system, how like sliding some weapons having an ADS now mm-hmm. that allows for a lot more people to get into Halo. But um, Halo, like older people who like people who've been playing Halo for like long, like decades, old can, head Halo, will come in, yes. yeah, yeah, can come in and play Halo, Halo and say like know how to, yeah, I'm dead know how to move like manage um hit like maps and such and like how to get hit um use power weapons properly and whatnot and, like you know they're, they're still like and like as well as using this new movement system to a interesting like a different advantage that maybe someone of a lower um skill is not going to get off right off the bat mm-hmm. and i feel like as long as they like when it comes to that as long as like yeah it's accessible but it also has a layer of complexity for longer standing players that i feel like that should be done more often of Don't course completely like like I, they need like i they're different i feel like as long as like you can find that balance i feel like that's where a game can strive best at of course just keep that shit fresh as much as you can of course changing shit too much you know that has its own drawbacks but in the name like in the gaming industry bro it's just like it's change is like you know the number one thing honestly bro for real, for real. Absolutely. Yeah. Or well, you, you you don't change, you get left behind, essentially. Right. What are you going to say, Bobby? I said the one thing I do agree with Isaac on, like, obviously, the example with Halo again, the maps just got bigger, which is why they added all these new things. Mm-hmm. The maps just got bigger. That's mm-hmm. really the only thing that changed. Right. So this, they could adapt. Yeah, they, they adapted it, but they also basically made it feel like there's change, but it really didn't happen, you know? Like like you said, the whole map thing. So it's just like, it's... It, it, like, like, old heads don't have to relearn the game. Of course. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure a sprint button doesn't break their whole fucking mind. Like, oh my god, this changes everything. Like, and, AD, no. and, and, and shit like that. Like, whoa, and shit like that. <laughs> it's just like, I feel like... There's, yeah, to, there's so much. That's how armor abilities that blew my mind. I'm just saying. I, I, that yeah. shit was that shit was cool. Was, you know, some of them. But <laughs> th- I just feel like there's so much resentment and there's so much like I wouldn't say hate, but like disdain for the newer generations. Like we don't got it. niggas that uh, jump into scenes around this time or a couple years ago compared to decades ago, the 90s and early 2000s. Just like yeah, these niggas got it uh, easier. There's the internet now for tech and shit like that. And um, yeah. you know, it's, it's, um. It's um almost like you can compare it to like motherfuckers don't want to get with the times like exactly oh, yeah. they have to integrate their game so it's more enjoyable right and that's gonna feed into the comp scene too yeah because if the game changes comp is gonna change too and and there and like now the comp scene is getting younger and younger yes, every younger. year you know what comes <laughs> with that gatekeeping. <laughs> I was like, oh, like, yeah. hell, I'm fucking this fucking twelve year old dweeb. They don't even know what a fucking vagina is, bro. How are they gonna play a comp game, bro? bro. Niggas just gonna start insulting niggas the, now, bro. The younger over well, again. Then we, then weren't we all in? Are we just repeating the process though? What you mean? I mean, yeah, really young, because like they were young at some point too. <laughs> I mean, I was, exactly. I mean, that's I, what I'm saying. We're they like may have been young whenever the game was new. It's but because still. we're yes, <laughs> that's exactly it, Bobby. We're projecting what we like. A lot of people are projecting what they face onto the people that are going through the, that tribulation. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I ain't saying I ain't guilty. I did it. I ain't gonna lie. Well, some niggas do need a good gatekeeping. Good games. It's just like it's just like never been kept. Me growing up. And playing the games I do, obviously, you know, the age-old uh, way of getting good, you get your ass beat repeatedly, and then all of a sudden you just start, you know, you, you'll stop wanting to, you know, mm-hmm. fucking lose, you know? You actually want to get better, so you just look into it. That's um, exactly how I learned Tekken. Exactly. Oh, 300. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, it's just like, 
back in the days, like like, like I just said, you had, there was some hair on your chest, bro. There was no internet, bro. You well, you pull up to the arcade cabinet, you slap your fucking quarter down. This nigga's doing shit you've never fucking seen before. My uncle doesn't do this. What is this? These are actual yeah. combos, and you're actually losing this shit. <laughs> and then you know, you come back. Maybe the nigga will be nice enough to give you some information. You know, take that to the next time. Maybe you do with some other uh ungrateful uh, ass nigga. But nowadays, we got the Google. We got the YouTube, we got the Discord, yeah. we got all this information and shit, we can just learn shit on the fly, and we niggas just popping up out of nowhere, beating ass, and whatever fucking game, and then niggas what don't, niggas, tech? niggas don't like it, and I understand, like, you know, I had to read a book for this shit, bro, my nigga, I, I had no one begins. I had to wait for the cheat code books to drop, bro. They'll teach me this shit, bro. I books. had to wait for every Scholastic nah. Fair. I had to drop $16 at every Scholastic Book yeah. Fair. <laughs> Try to check them bitches out from the fucking from the fucking Belleville Library. For real. <laughs> Copy paste that every, shit. Bro, I remember one day, I remember oh, one day shit. we went to the book fair and my mom didn't give me any money. Tell me why my ass brought a fucking piece of paper and started writing down codes from the book on the oh, fucking man. paper. I wasn't even, I was like, fuck this, I'm about to beat the system. The fucking teacher pulled me to the side, stop doing that. I'm like, bitch, I ain't got no fucking money. <laughs> I'm gonna write this shit down. Hold on. And shit. Those are the days. But nigga was trying to fight the system in third grade, bro. Exactly, bro. <laughs> Teacher grabbed me by my shoulder. What are you doing? Like, bitch, fuck you. Hold on. Took my shoulder back, bro. Turn that page. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't even have that game, but I'm going to write the fucking codes down for later. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And do shit like that, bro. But. Niggas just pulling up the scenes, bro. Niggas pulling up on fucking COD tournaments, Tekken tournaments, fucking under the age of fucking shit 20, beating ass, and all these 30-year-old niggas with gray hair and five kids out here hating and shit. Uh. <laughs> I've been playing Halo ever since the Xbox original. You weren't even probably born yet out here talking shit because you, you get... Party. You getting? For, you ever heard of Iron Party? We ever heard of game lounges? Shit, fuck you, old man. Bam, 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 20-0. Fuck that. Uh, man, bro. It's just shit like that. So honestly, bro, niggas will have to fucking realize it, bro. Niggas gonna have to accept it. These niggas ain't gonna do nothing but get even older and more young niggas gonna pop up. Shit, we're gonna get more and more advanced with our information and shit. Sucks for you. <laughs> oh well. But it is what it is. Um What the fuck? What is this nigga doing? Um, my bad, bro. I'm playing Rocket League. <laughs> um, but uh, going off from that though, um, how do you guys feel with the growing uh popularity and uh acceptance of uh crossplay and uh basically, I love it. yeah, more games are um you know integrating it. Uh, shit, now we have cross generation uh gaming now. It it goes from Xbox Series X to Xbox One X. Um, how do you guys feel about it? And how do you think this affects? Uh, the, the console wars and competition in general. Um, so wars just honestly, getting old at this point. Yeah, console wars is fucking stupid <laughs> at this point. Yeah, but um, like I, honestly, I just don't like, care. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like buy a plastic box and love your games. <laughs> right. Basically, at that like, point, yes, it is what it is. But crossplay in general, I fucking love. Like I, 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 I am like you know I'm one of the few. Uh, raw group still stuck on console. I eventually do want to move towards doing both. I am. Oh well. We'll say it again. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have something to add to oh, the whole man. crossplay thing. So, oh, wait, nigga, hold on, Chris, talking, nigga. He's sorry, sorry, damn. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, go ahead, Chris. This nigga just wait, trying wait, to. Wait. This nigga just <laughs> dancing wait, the damn wait. camera shot. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Who's Mark Simpson laugh of that? that uh, you leave me alone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, what I, like, no. But as I try to make that um, neutral transition to do both, um, you know, I'm, I, I'm, it allows for pe people like me to, like, you know, hop in, like, an Xbox party because, you know, I can invite any of you guys since you have Microsoft accounts to join my party and chat. And like I do, I did it with Jalen earlier today. We hopped in the chat and played Apex, like mm -hmm. on his PC, on my Xbox. Like you know, being able to do that more and more lately, it again is like opening up those borders of like you know, it's really reducing everything to just being 
what you like um like the set of hardware that you have gaming without like, borders like every, it <laughs> it's, it's like just, you know, like it's my whole romeo and julia story it is it's just opening up the border to allow for people to just be able to play with anybody and everyone as like without any sort of like true restriction right and i love that that's mm-hmm. that is great for the industry it really is personal. We're gonna say, uh, Keontae, before you crib walked in the camera shot with, with, with like cross playing the whole like cross gen thing, right? This is where I think it's finally time for uh, it sounds sad saying, but consoles should kind of not do away with it, but like the integrate Discord into their consoles. I even though totally they don't want to because they know niggas will just uh, completely abandon the party system. But not completely, but it'll become obsolete really soon because people have friends on console, but niggas use Discord for so much. You ain't got niggas with the Isn't fucking Microsoft? switch haven't used it off fucking rip anyway. <laughs> yeah. Switch ain't got no party Isn't... system niggas alone, bro. <laughs> Isn't Microsoft like more and more just inching closer and closer to like some sort of Discord integration? Like I know, like you can. I'm like. Oh shit! Hold on. Go, 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 go. Uh, I think I heard something about that. Let me check this. Let me look this up. Let me fact check this. Hello. What? Um, I'm check. I'm looking up at the integration stuff. Discord. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's happening. Xbox teases t- potential integration. This is October 25th, so I guess it's gonna happen? Question mark? Uh, integration yeah, with Discord? Discord. It's like, yeah, that's the thing. Like, some of, like, again, me, Jalen, and, like, some other people in, like, the Discord will try and play Apex. And, mm-hmm. like, I have to, like, balance, like, I have to, like, I have to, like, plug in earphones from my phone in into my this shit's a nightmare. Over those, it's yeah, it's, it's a nightmare. It's awful. It's it's like like when I stream off my PlayStation and I'm trying to like have the sound from the PlayStation and my PC go through and like talk through a mic to talk to my niggas in fucking uh chat and then have the chat go through there as well. I gotta have like three fucking things plugged in, and that's why I always have my mic off. I mean my my, my screen off. I mean, not the shit, my camera off. Cause I look like a jackass with all these fucking wirings coming out my fucking body and shit. <laughs> Two headsets on and a fucking uh, pair of Apple earbuds in my ear. Like, what the fuck is this nigga <laughs> doing? It just looks super goofy. So hopefully, I would hope some some, some shit like that would come uh, through. Real for real. Oh, yeah. If it's if it if it's coming together, it needs to hurry up a little bit up. But yeah, it definitely needs to be a thing. Yeah, of course. Uh, but uh, um. The way I feel about it, though, um, it's about over with, um, console wars. It's it's about over with. Every next generation, uh, games are losing their um, their exclusives one way or another. Um, no Halo, please, please no. I mean, it's already on PC, no, so. <laughs> I mean, to, like, that's exactly yeah. what, that's exactly what Microsoft wants people to do, though. Mm-hmm. Like that that's the thing. Like that's what I lo- like. You know. I'm too, I, I guess, to hype Microsoft up again. I just like what Microsoft is doing with the concept of an ecosystem. And I get the idea of keeping exclusives to sell a console. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate, I respect that. Because I do want a PS. I eventually want both co- like both major consoles on a PC because I really do want to play the PC exclusives. I like, I want, my, I want to xbox i want to mic i want to xbox because i like playing games in my living room but you can play pc on your living room to me i know that but i want a console experience <laughs> in my living room i want my own pc off to the side but pc i'm going right. to do gaming and work stuff i keep saying that but right. anyway um but yeah I, I want to be able to do be able to do all that jazz mm-hmm. i i like you know I, I like i still like but microsoft's concept of like this ecosystem i feel like is the greatest it's like the better step to go mm-hmm because like yeah, they're giving you the freedom and option to play. Oh, you have a console, you don't have a super strong PC. Okay, play, do what you've been doing and do on our Game Pass. People on PC, hey, play all of our cool games that we got to join Game Pass, do all that jazz. You know, have fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see. <laughs> 
But um, yeah, it doesn't matter to me though. I have a computer. Wow. <laughs> if you say you how many times are you gonna keep like, saying this? <laughs> You just, uh, you just, you know what? Like, I, I, but I, I, I will. I, I, it's something I'm getting. Yeah, but I will but say, I will say, the line is getting blurrier and blurrier each, um, each generation, and yeah. I like everyone's uh, efforts to keep, I guess, the console war. I'm saying this, you can't see me in quotes, console war alive, but only real thing or at this point at one point only console niggas would have to buy is honestly a nintendo console because they have yeah. nothing anywhere for real for real <sighs> where the fuck you gonna yeah, play smash I mean, at what you gonna play zelda at for real so i don't know but uh it's interesting. pc and an emulator <laughs> I'm not going to... guys i don't i don't, uh, I don't condone <laughs> They, we don't do we don't do here. emulators here <clears throat> but uh but uh <laughs> but uh at, at one point it's gonna be a rap isaac how do you feel about it good talk um hey that's my opinion. i don't even know bro you talking about console exclusives uh no cross play integration how this uh is going into like basically competition with each console Considering, uh, you know, people could just play with their friends regardless of the console, you know. I mean, cross-play integration is cool if you got friends still playing on. Yeah, but it, like we I'm said told. before, it takes away, like, you know, oh, if I want to play so yada 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 with you, I'm going to have to buy the console as well. Nowadays, we don't have to do that anymore. We can just, the game is it's enough. It's awful. Just depends on uh, what game it is. I mean, yeah, the game has to be popular enough to warrant it. It just uh, not going to act. Cross, I mean, a, a lot of a play lot of, for all of them. Yeah, I mean, but basically every game, well, most uh, AAA, I mean, she even double A title, they have a uh, cross play. So it may seem like yeah. everything and shit's consistently coming out with cross play as well. So you know, I mean, I if the game's popular enough for it, though, I mean, some games not getting playing. it or don't have it. I, would I can name a lot of like games. I can I can tell you most Battlefield probably won't have cross play with a console. If PC cross play with console. Oh yeah, with most shooters I understand, but isn't Apex like that? Don't they have cross play? Apex. Apex. Yeah. Apex cross just cross added cross play. Yeah. And I do agree with Isaac on Call of Duty has cross play, but mm -hmm. I know at this point. Call of Duty does a matchmaking system to where if you're using a controller on PC, you'll be matched against mm -hmm. people using controllers on console. So you feel uh, crossplay isn't really uh, damaging competition from console to console? And most, I mean, if only it only damages competition if it's oh, an game. exclusive game. Mm -hmm. The only way you can make that argument is with a game being exclusive. Mm -hmm. Crossplay ruins multiplayer games for people. Mm. That's why people have it turned off. Because they don't want to match up against people on PC using hacks. Because, you know, claiming a person using hacks is the way people that suck at games like to help themselves feel better about why they're dying. <laughs> Don't, doesn't Keontae do that all the time? I keep and, they, the and they think having a mouse and keyboard just instantly gives you better aim. But that's not the case. Okay. You got to, just like a controller, you got to know how to aim. Mm -hmm. I told people, just isn't, people just aren't naturally good. Mm -hmm. But cross-play overall is only beneficial in certain games. Okay. I just feel so sad uh, now. <laughs> I feel so sad now. Just I was gonna like <laughs> I basically agree with Isaac mm -hmm. on the point that the popularity and the widespread availability of the game is the only way that would work a cross play for it. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, I just want to see like with more you know, you know, top tier games dropping and shit like that. You know, does this like affect you know competition? Like, does this aid or you know? Hurt the console war. I, like, I was I, GTA will never have crossplay with PC. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't even care if it does or it don't at this point. That's why I knew fucking GTA. 
one of the I'm surprised does not have cross play with console on you know, Xbox and PS4 yet. One of the games I was surprised it got cross play is Mortal Rocket Kombat. League. No, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Oh no, the uh, fighting games with all the whole COVID shit. Uh, that shit needed to happen, honestly. Fine games need crossplay to begin with, because a lot of fine games don't have the player base to sustain them online ecosystems anyway. Exactly. The player exactly. base, just not an online one. No. Um. Here's the thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna learn you. Let let you learn a little something. With with COVID and shit going on, my guy and Isaac. You know, Isaac basically already just re like wrote it down for you. Um, with, with COVID and shit going down and shit, we don't have tournaments. And tournament life uh, basically determines how long your game is alive. If your tournament, if tournaments aren't popping online or offline, bro, your game is basically fucking over with. A game called Skullgirls, that shit's been popping since 2012. Tournament scene has been popping and has been has been getting consistent updates and DLC for a few years. Um, so with shit like crossplay uh, for Mortal Kombat and other games like Street Fighter, that shit was needed because there's no there's no type of events or anything going on to like draw people in and make money for the game and like basically self uh self uh advertise so if it wasn't for that um mortal kombat was already taking the shit already with all you know the fucking shit that was going on so with the help of crossplay and all the dlc um that's helping them bounce back and shit and keep them rele uh, relevant so for anything honestly i'd say fighting games all fighting games to a degree would have should have um crossplay to keep the game's lifespan uh, around a little bit longer. That's just me. <clears throat> I'll battle around yeah, fucking, crossplay. I'm trying to sit here and queue up against fucking PlayStation niggas, like, fucking the fucking I mean, it don't really people. matter, because, like, there's, there's no, like, real, like... There's no advantage. Yeah, there's no advantage. Honestly, you're kind of hindering yourself on, P on uh, control, on, on fucking keyboard, because this shit's just weird, unless you have, like, a custom keyboard Bro, for fighting I would games. not... <laughs> It's shit's Mouse weird. and keyboard fucking fighting games. I, I would, I would. Ugh. Well, there's a thing. This, there's a thing called the hitbox. All it has is I w a. The hitbox. Yeah, W A S D and like six fucking buttons. All it is is a fucking arcade stick with no joystick. That's a different thing. But I mean, honestly, there is no advantage. So I don't see a point of them not to do Xbox, PlayStation, PC. Keeps the game fresh and bind all the player bases into one. Because a Mortal Kombat 9 on the Xbox was fucking dead but on the playstation it was popping so why not just merge all those into one thing that's just me <clears throat> that's just me uh somebody tried to say something else and then uh um yeah i was gonna say <laughs> i would imagine that um smaller i was gonna um contradict what isaac said and say that i would i would imagine that would help smaller games from like smaller devs and smaller teams mm -hmm. that have like an incorporated multiplayer because that allows for their small their ecosystem that they're trying to create to merge yeah be one big yeah, ass keep thing that keep that somewhat flourish even if it's not as big as yeah okay it's not going to be call of duty size it's not going to be um you know these major battle royale sizes mm -hmm. no doubt, but like still it's going to allow for that kind of like Small devs to want to continue working on their smaller passion projects and whatnot. Yeah, it, but as well, I was also going to build off and say, I was also going to build off and say, like, I, I, you said that you don't imagine like a battlefield game to go cross plat. I don't see why not, especially with battlefield most likely going to have to stay relevant. Sixty-four player lobbies aren't at all, you know, anything revolutionary anymore. So I imagine battlefield is probably going. To like 200 player lobbies so that's going to obviously want to warn crossplay yeah between and when it comes and like i feel like apex does crossplay really well because again it when you um base crossplay on consoles is going to be just between consoles unless you have somebody <clears throat> who is on pc in your lobby then it's going to open it up to pc players that's what happens with Jalen and i there's um um a view from everybody but yeah like um chris just said um smaller games can um uh, they're having a chance to um build upon their um uh, their current player base and you know hopefully build upon that with everybody being involved from the start 
and shit sometimes even implementing it on older games or games that have stayed around for a minute that are still a little bit fresh maybe even implementing uh, implementing into that to uh, basically revitalize the game um uh, could help also, uh, last thing i want to say on the topic is that just look at no man's sky mm-hmm. i mean we can talk about all the other bad shit that's happened with no man's sky mm-hmm. but with its with all the recent good stuff that's happened it went from what local four player well not local not at all local from four player co-op to like 16 player co-op to 32 player co-op come this upcoming gen and no man no man's sky no man's sky yes what the fuck uh, maybe i should play it again <laughs> well, 32 well it's 32 player like lobbies and such mm-hmm. so, like when you summon the anomaly and like it's I, I i really don't know how it works but i have to look further into it mm-hmm. but yeah like with the next gen update i'm pretty sure upping like lobbies up to 32 players Damn. that's just a lazy developer <laughs> i mean lazy developer from this game that's been out since 2013 Wait, that's been getting no man's guide didn't come out in 2015 or 16. That's I know right. we graduated. It, oh, was, right. it was showed, it was showed off in 2013. That's my bad. 2016, they've been working on this since 2016, four years. My point for that, there's no reason that player account couldn't have had that player account on PC to begin with. So it was console that was holding back the development for No Man's Sky. I mean, it was originally developed for console on PS4 and PC. Yeah, so it was console holding it back. Okay. So that's just my two cents. So crossplay adds no benefit to No Man's Sky. Because uh, well, it's the yeah, disparity no between PC and console. I was playing it. I played crossplay with somebody, and they were on a they were on console. The game kept crashing and freezing for them. It took them forever to load in. You know why? Because console will always hold back PC in in terms of gaming. That's not. <laughs> hey. And smaller, and you said smaller team, smaller games should go crossplay. Who well, you you're you're forgetting that Sony don't care what smaller game developers do in terms of crossplay. The only reason crossplay even happens on PlayStation is because developers are big. Just asking for it. It's the only reason I'm, Fortnite I'm got looking, the green lip for crossplay. From an altruistic perspective when it comes to gaming in general. Mm-hmm. That's look, all, that's how can all. it how it can benefit shit, honestly. Yeah. I'm just saying how it is. Sony's not gonna let yeah. small You know how games. selfish fucking they are with trying to play trying to fucking crossplay. They're not gonna let them. One thing I will say, uh, there was the whole thing they're doing with Street Fighter and all that. PC and PlayStation 4 crossplay. Now there's like, oh, potentially coming over Xbox and cutting all that shit. Like, this is a company that buys year long exclusives for games. I mean, they're not listening to little development teams when it comes to cross play we can dream god damn it we can dream but anyway <clears throat> on to the next uh topic um so apparently uh netflix is uh working on getting a fucking tv channel uh, kind oh. of, <laughs> uh for um for like non-internet households um honestly in 2020 who the fuck doesn't have the internet anymore to some degree you know you're not wrong. A lot of people Netflix in here. Colorado, Nevada. Uh, Some niggas don't matter. Montana. Some niggas don't Wyoming. matter. I, obviously, they're like fucking mountain people. They don't care anyway. <laughs> what? Niggas like Bobby that eat potatoes with like fucking apples. Those niggas don't need the oh, internet. This nigga picked up a potato saying, but, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yoim, yoim. Yoim. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bobby, I'm sorry, but that was the weirdest shit. <laughs> that will be listening to what it. What is so wrong with that? That just fucking reminded me of when fucking Shrek ate, ate a fucking onion like an apple, bro. That nigga said, y'all, oh bro. But no, I, I, not I'm not saying all post. niggas from Colorado Why? don't have the fucking internet. Obviously. If the Why do I have to cut the potato in half in order to eat it? Why? Nigga, that's what humans do. <laughs> this nigga said, I want, this nigga said, I want a man. I, I want to show the potato who's boss. I want to show that bitch who's boss. I just don't get it. 
Anyway, anyway, nigga. Like, where is that? Where is that law? This nigga is, where is that this nigga's law? attacked, bro. Hey, bro, fuck the. <laughs> Oh, I don't, dang. nigga. I don't care, nigga. Anyway, Chris, so how do you feel, bro? I can see it as like a way, a, like a version of like accessibility for older audiences, mm -hmm. rather than because then, like you know, think of people fifty, sixty plus. Of they don't want to do all that like, shit. Yeah, have, yeah. Of course, they have like younger, you know, um, probably younger family members that can definitely help them out with the internet and tech stuff. But like, this is gonna be way easier, a way easier approach for them to get. Right. Oh, fucking all that is all fucking it's Netflix just, and chill the TV seems... channel. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> watch. I'll go. I'll, I'll bro, I'll get about the fucking dead. crib, bro. I'll leave. So, <laughs> I feel, <geez. laughs> but, yeah, I feel like it's. I, I feel like that's all it is. It's like um, it's like it, it can be sort of like yeah, that sort of like accessibility thing to people who don't aren't particularly the like who don't have smart TVs or don't have any like. I mean, of course, we're living in, obviously, it's 2020. A lot of people do have these devices. Right. But I don't know. It seems like, and I think it's actually, it's in beta right now. The, I, I, the article that the I saw. Channel in beta. It, it was like they, <laughs> soft, they soft, well, they I, soft I know. launched it. I in, know. Um, yeah. They soft launched it in February. In May. And, um, not in February. I meant in France. What I got. What the so fuck? They saw. They saw launched it in France, and they have a plan to like roll it out into larger audiences to see mm -hmm. how it's successful. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, like you just said, I feel like um, it would be for the older generation, for um, people that I'm sure they have the internet to some degree. It's 2020. People have access to the internet, whether it's their phones or whatever, and some people can't afford or don't want to go through the hassle of doing all this app shit uh doing all this stuff all this extra shit to watch tv and they rather just stick to what they've known it's what they've been doing in the channel process and um you know they're seeing all this extra cool shit oh stranger things um all these superhero shows i wish i can watch them but, you know so you know i see a problem with that oh so because if it's a tv channel that means that something specific is in right mm -hmm. so with everything that's available on Netflix, right? What would they air that's so good that people would not watch what they want to watch on well, Netflix? But well, watch here, Netflix well TV here's channel. the thing. I'm sure some type of like um survey, honestly. Um, honestly, I feel like some type of survey will come out, and they're basically like, of course, you're gonna have your shit that's like super popular. If it was 2017, I'm sure some of the Marvel shows have been on there off rip before Disney fucked everything up. Um, I'm sure um. Uh, shit like the Stranger Things, shit like that. Maybe their little Netflix movies will come through every now and again. You know, just like Netflix programming. Maybe their anime shows at a certain like uh, time of the week. Shit like that. I think, I I think the TV channel might only air Netflix exclusives. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. If it's like that, would make sense if other shit is not like, like what's the fucking point? Like if I'm ar I'm already watching shit like that on Disney Channel or Cartoon Network or whatever the AMC. What's the point yeah. of the channel, you know? So it's Netflix shit. For like Netflix of original shit, which of course, um, yes. Yeah. Netflix has not Netflix has a catalog, bro. Oh, yes. I've yeah. seen a ton of it. Yeah, but... they yeah, they have a catalog, so it wouldn't be Quality a problem. Is one thing, but they have the catalog. <laughs> I don't what know about the quality, but we do have the quantity. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, it's just going to be like a regular channel, but with Netflix IPs. That's all it is. Um, so I, quit sniping me, bro. It wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be hard. And I feel like, uh, honestly, a few years ago, I did I had an idea like this. Like, honestly, with all this internet shit going on and all this stuff that's locked behind the paywall that is an internet bill. Some people are still, and it sickens me. I come to people's houses that they, they don't have any type of, they don't have anything there. It took uh, it took a moment for people to actually get on the, like the bandwagon, not the bandwagon, the train, and actually you know move more digital and shit like that. So people that are shit either that don't want to, I don't want to say evolve. That sounds bad. Don't want to, <laughs> that don't want to, that don't want to do it, or people that just can't. This is a. Um, amazing idea uh i have a feeling this will not be on some uh, regular tv programming shit uh, i might catch this shit on the dish network i can't catch the uh, catch this with direct definitely. 
Yeah, might catch this with direct, uh, but you you gonna have to pay. <laughs> you gonna have to pay. You don't have to pay for this channel, nigga. You ain't, this ain't gonna be uh, Nickelodeon. You gonna flip to the Netflix channel, nigga. Uh, you gonna have to pay. A, beat, nigga. Yeah, you gonna have to pay for this shit monthly, my guy. So it's basically gonna be a, a like Netflix, like the monthly subscription, because of course people pay for channels and shit with a package. But it's gonna, of course, be regular TV programming. You're not gonna be able to. Uh, <laughs> True, the fuck you're gonna watch. I have to sit here and watch sit through a, a fucking marathon of a Netflix uh, Death Note. I don't know, bro. You might just have to, bro. Is Netflix baby? Is what you wanted to see, right? Have you, yo, Timmy, have you seen the Death Note movie? Hey, like, at least that means that some of the um, like uh, what is it? <laughs> hey, my air the fucking. Anime, bro, you got fucking uh, Seven Deadly Sins. I ain't seen that shit yet, but I'm just like saying if that creates watch your own channel for for uh, like more anime on TV. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's like, but what is? I feel like, uh, well, I feel like that's a different conversation, but I feel like it would probably wouldn't even be like anime and such. I feel like it would probably be just like again, with pussy, it being, if it, pussy, if it is for like an older pussy, demographic. Pussy, it feels like it pussy, 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 like oh, popular shit. live action series. Okay, like, mm-hmm. just think about the Kali sticks. Fuck. I feel like, like what you just said, you know, by the way, Keontae, you ain't trying to hear your game chat mid-fucking podcast, nigga. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I feel like they might have, um, it might be a diverse, uh, diverse showing. Like, of course, you know, a TV, um, like Adult Swim and a coaching network. Every, was it Saturday they had anime for a couple hours, then it goes back to the Mom, regular yeah. shit? Yeah. Was the joint. I feel like they'll do the same thing with that different weeks I mean, different parts of the week would be different programming like uh maybe one day would just be netflix movies i don't know if niggas would feel that one day one part of the day would be their anime or some shit or whatever the hell some, yeah yeah some sort of weird scheduling yeah sort of interesting. to try and get everybody involved to try and get everybody involved because people i'm sure these people have been hearing all this shit on the internet oh yes people that love this shit Oh my God! This is being remade from Netflix. What is this? Oh, I remember Baki back in the '90s. It's been revived on Netflix. Damn, wish I had fucking Netflix. Oh shit! There's a yeah. Netflix channel and shit like that. Like, it it would um it it'll make money, but the the clout will not be there. That's all I know. The clout will not be there. I walk into a nigga house. Hey baby, I got that uh Netflix for you. What you wanna watch? Oh, she got Netflix. Bro, let me let me watch that new Seven Daily Sin season. Ah, right, baby, here's a remote. And then she, she just turned the she, she just turned the shit on. It's just a channel. Like wait a minute, no, <laughs> that shit's getting burnt down, bro. <laughs> like not today, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, Granny, but your, your house gotta go, bro. What are you gonna say, Bobby? I still think Seven Deadly. Uh, excuse me, Seven Deadly Sins is overrated. I've watched it, and I still think it's overrated. Well, the first season. Uh, first two. Seasons. I still nah. This is. I watched like. Two. I shouldn't say anything about the animation, considering I watched Dragon Ball. About to fucking say. But it's still bad. It's still bad. Uh, I mean, well, that's just like the fan base in general. Here's the thing, Bobby. I'm gonna tell you this. You know my disdain, hate, dis, uh, my uh, hate for uh, Rick and Morty, correct? I don't know. I caught you watching the other day. You know my shut up, bitch. You know my hate for Rick and Morty, right? <laughs> but yeah, the show is not bad. I had to sit at one point. I hated it just because of the fan base. I hated everything about the show. I sat down and watched every fucking episode, and I enjoyed the show. <laughs> the show is nice. Whoa. It's just a fucking fan base, and I feel like it's the same way with anime. There's a lot of decent anime out there, although it may be uber fucking cliche. The fan base, the fan bases of them, and fucking bandwagon culture just ruin everything. Yeah, that's all well, it is. Seven Deadly well, Sins. For me, it was still just it was just overall. Yeah, that shit was a meme. The whole. <laughs> okay, the dude's like, I don't like Meliodas. I don't like. I like, I like in general Whoa. Program, but I just don't like Meliodas. That nigga is a thug. That nigga oh, Bond. Please. That nigga a thug too. No, overall pervert for no reason. Ian, yeah. that bitch a thug too. King. Oh please, he even okay. He raised the girl. He raised the girl pretty much. Nigga, I'm about to raise you to yeah, fucking yeah. God, oh, nigga. I'm about to who raise you to fucking who? heaven, nigga. Yikes. I'm gonna raise you to like heaven, that. nigga. Is, who raised who? I don't like that. No, I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say he raised her, but Meliodas Meliodas was there when she was young. Ooh. Elizabeth? 
All right. Well, I guess it's time to drop off the spoiler warning for niggas that don't you watch the anime. Ahead. I did watch the anime. Well, Melio has this time, get your, get your Melio has been knowing Elizabeth for the past three thousand years. She gets reincarnated. I know. Every she's a reincarnation. Time. I'm aware. And every time she gets her memories back, she dies. Yeah, I'm aware. But he still was there. I don't. I don't agree with that. Still, either way. <laughs> Is, like I'm gonna sit there and watch somebody grow up and never age and keep repeating the same process over and over again. Yeah, How you gonna I never loved somebody so much? Oh, I can't believe you trying to dismiss me with that. Oh uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> I just don't like. I can't rock with you on that one, bro. I can't rock with you on that one, bro. Yeah, my favorite character How from there. Dare there. You, I can't rock with you on that well, one, bro. I don't give a shit. I don't okay. give a shit. I'm entitled to my own damn opinion. You beat this nigga's You're ass, bro. These hands, nigga. Fucking communist. I'm here with Bobby. All right, go ahead. You, you know, know where I live. Like, fucking com no, com you know where I live. <laughs> commie bootlicker. <laughs> I, I watched like a couple episodes with Lydia, and like I could not. I no. I was like, I'm not a fan. I'm not into this. I don't like Meliodas as a character either. Thank I don't you. like. I don't like the woman character as a character either because she's just fainty and poses like she, she like fainted and was just like there lying <laughs> sexily on the ground i'm like what the fuck am i looking at that sound like some fucking that's been a big time i've been watching i've been watching it forever giant issue with why i don't watch a lot of anime lately it's just because a lot you of it is like that it's not you anime. don't like fan service i don't it's gross a lot of times it's gross it gets boring after a while. You can't just sit there and watch the same this thing. Dude is, this dude has watched so oh, much of it, he's numb to it. I hate you. I hate you, Baka, the main character. Everybody fall in love with that bitch. Exactly. He's numb yeah. to it now. I'm about to whip out the hey, fucking man, nine, bro. It gets boring. I'm, I'm about to whip out the nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired. tired of, I'm tired of you boring. niggas, bro. How y'all niggas he, gonna dis? He can only watch it. He can only watch anime if it's DBZ. Me? I no. Watch I think you're talking about Bobby exclusively. Oh, okay. That's definitely not true. Bobby's favorite anime is Dragon Ball. <laughs> no, it is not. It's Gurren Lagan. I can't. Anime I'm thinking of. Is Lagan. that the anime where. Uh, you must be one of them. They were living underground, yep. and they find a mech. Yep. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That, I knew this was out here. This nigga just I said, wow. I was really enjoying Space Bandy. <laughs> that man, I was oh, really upset. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I say, Sandy, Space Bandy fired, but you're not allowed to watch that, okay? That's huh? like I'm not allowed to watch Space Bandy. You're not allowed to watch it. Gurren, 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 lagging scum. Got done talking about gatekeeping, bro. We not gatekeeping. Yeah, I'm about to do it right now, <laughs> nigga. You know what that means? <laughs> Double standards, nigga. I don't give I a don't fuck. Care, man. They can do what they want. Their anime is. Hmm. Anyway, this nigga said, "Wow, wow, wow." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I haven't watched Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion is the only. I think it's goaded. That's the on, that's the only <laughs> only mech anime I will watch is Evangelion. Sorry. He just said it was overrated. Evangelion's I'm overrated. A... Your life he is overrated. I'm about to end this nigga, bro. Yeah. I'm about to end this nigga, bro. He, he really just said it was overrated. They was up to two for me, nigga. It's a rap, bro. It's a fucking <laughs> rap. The only like mech anime I'm into was Edaka Seven. That Hold was... on now, there's another mech anime that y'all all forgetting. That's called Gios. I call it Gold Geese. Gold Geese. Geese. Rebellion. But I don't know if y'all watched that. Y'all probably didn't. I watched a couple of them. I watched Big O. That's a, is does not classify as a mech Big anime. Big O. That's, That's way better than that Goran lag lagging stuff. Goran two three thousand ping. Or or the niggas just stumble across a mech, for, and then magically know how to use it. And magically just stomp the little like alien things that they kill. <laughs> hey yo, hey, this is, this is what it is, bro. It is what it is, bro. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, niggas was living underground, but had nine eleven happening above them every day. 
and didn't know nobody lived up there. Bobby, defend I your mean, anime, nigga. Be... Huh? Defend your anime, nigga. I don't have to. It's my favor. You're entitled to your opinion. They know how care. much inbreeding would ha have had to have happened down there. But these dudes Not a lot. Like they were actually people. being oppressed by the Beastmen. That was the only reason why they were actually being held underground. Because they were being oppressed by the Beastmen. The they didn't even know up. They didn't even know upstairs existed. <laughs> I said they did. They actually did. They actually did. It's just that usually the chairman or whoever was in charge was actually uh, keeping them down there and keeping them in check. The, so they wouldn't rile up the beastmen, so they wouldn't be wiped out. The, the beastmen. Hey man, the how would they actually know when most of them niggas didn't? Just because one person know don't mean everybody know. Man, I, don't, I, I, ain't, I ain't part of the colony, man. I don't know. What they mean. <laughs> That's my favorite anime. <laughs> you should know everything about your favorite anime. Uh -huh. And how? Man, why would I get defensive on it? It's my opinion. Like I like it. Why would I get so defensive on it? Because it's your favorite. Okay. Yeah. Because really, you're just expecting <laughs> yeah. me to actually humor you. I'm expecting you to have at least an objective opinion about your favorite anime. But and I gave it to you. Favoritism is normally subjective. Yes. You can love. You can love Fight. something that Fight. is fundamentally Fight. Don't bother. Fight. 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 Oh no! I uh, I'm oh. here for the content. <laughs> anyway, so uh, <clears throat> as you may hear, I may have heard, um, Johnny Depp was asked to sign off from a Fantastical Beast, whatever the fuck it's called, and where to find it. Just real quick before we start this section. I've never seen that. I have never seen a single. Hold on, hold on. Let's look. wait for my nigga. Let's I have wait, to say on it. Let's wait for our uh, nigga Keontae to go use his prison bathroom. You know, y'all wear here. I put the flip flops on. You know, you know, stay safe out there. Has anybody even seen those movies? I have seen the first one. I have not. It's okay. Uh, I, Bobby, have you seen them? Nope. Oh. We, we can't speak on a movie that we've We're never seen. We're not talking really? about the... You see? You see? You see? I'm not even talking about the movie. You can't, I think I can't even get the intro done. Damn! Holy yeah, shit! Really see? That thing is quick. the intro? Come on. Anyway, he was asked to sign off from the movie because of allegations from his ex-wife, Amber Heard, abuse allegations. So he was asked to sign off on multiple projects, including Magical Beasts and where to find them. Uh, <clears throat> basically, old girl is uh, ruining his life. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into it yet because I want Keontae to uh, be involved as well. But uh, it's been a, a ongoing, uh, ongoing thing for how many years? Um, about two. I want to say about two, two years, and um, he, he's his, his work's been getting scarce for Mr. Depp. Um, he's been a woman that was in Aquaman, right? yeah. She's yep. she played, um, I guess she's, I think the bitch's name is Mira, Aquaman's wife, of course. But uh, yeah, she's been um, accusing him of all types of uh, domestic shit, and uh, you know, one thing led to another, and it come to find out it was uh, she, her doing the fucking abuse. And she's still out here acting like nothing's going on, still getting her bag. And Johnny Depp is out here fucking struggling uh, and not being even called back for the role. He got kicked off the movies. And since them, since they found the no, you know, no actual fucking uh, evidence, they didn't ask him to come back. Wait, there's a new breakthrough since yesterday. What are you talking because about? We talked because. Because, um, <clears throat> what's her uh, name? What's, what's her name? Like Amber or something? Amber Heard. My bad. Yeah. Amber Heard. Yeah, she out heard people. But anyway, uh, but, uh, so no one talks about how she actually. So you, uh, read through the timeline that I sent you, right? Mm hmm. So she was in a relationship that she was abusive in already. Mm hmm. Already, already standing shits. So, and what's, um, and the one thing that I find very, very wild is that, what the fuck was, was, uh, that British magazine or some shit, that UK thing that, uh, Sun. yeah, like, like, they labeled him a wife beater, and yeah. bro, he, yeah. that's a, that's a very, very, very strong statement to make about oh, something that they don't even know all the information on. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, he then... He probably blasted them for libel. 
but recently we lost the yeah. Switch and then it, he's currently in a suit <laughs> against someone else because uh uh what's her name talked about right but their divorce agreement said that you're not allowed to talk about it publicly and oh bro I, like i like i uh need to look at the um the entirety of the uh the timeline again right but so there was even a recording of a of of them arguing right and she openly talks about I didn't punch you. I hit you. There's a difference between being hit and punch, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it it was <laughs> it was it was getting really really dirty. People were getting involved. Lots of other celebrities were getting involved. And uh, to go back on what you just said, um, these niggas were married for not even a year, and they had a seven million settlement. They reached out of court. It was reached out of court on August sixteenth. I thought it was ten million. Uh, I'm seeing seven million, but anyway, a million, oh, a million, oh. whatever the fuck, it's a lot of money. And you know, there was a known uh, NDA basically. They weren't supposed to talk about any of this shit. Uh, two years ago, she goes out and uh, basically just starts spilling all this fake ass tea and all that shit. So which prompts Johnny to fucking continue like, okay, fuck this shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm innocent and. You know, with all the damage already done, uh, people already knowing her, uh, how she is and everything, basically, um, damaging his reputation to ends that is un basically so unreversible, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, he won't, Very. nobody's giving him any work. The last known fucking franchise he's working on was the last of that fucking uh, Harry Potter spinoff, and he just got, he, was, he can't even act on that, and he's innocent. What the fuck? Fantastic Beasts? Yeah, Fantastic Beasts were the fuck. Yeah, bro. There is, there is no one that they, like, this, like, sounds hard saying, but there is no one that they can cast that will play that role better than Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is a fucking chameleon, my <laughs> <nigga>. like, <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> Johnny Depp is a fucking chameleon. I have his, I've never yeah. met a nigga. So if you could calm down, Rango. <laughs> the fuck up, nigga. And he did act as Rango. He did voice act Rango, bro. He I... did. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, this motherfucker is too. It's like, it's sad to see a childhood actor, from an actor that's yeah. prominent in my childhood. Is what I mean. He's been in so many movies I fucked with, movies I didn't even realize what he was in until later on in my life, my nigga. It was just <laughs> like, and for this shit to happen to him, and for it to be so cut and dry and blatant. Yeah, and like it's, it's not good. Fine. It didn't come out till now. Sorry. It's this message been going on for years. I know. Since like they've been arguing for years. They it's met up. Been on... like within recent year though that he like it's been proven that it's actually been her, hasn't it? Like since like mid last year. People showed pictures of this man got bruises on his face, bro. I'm like, damn. The whole and it was just bad. Like these are the fuckers. As soon as the whole like initial news came out. Wife beating and other stuff is very, very, you know, important, like, you know, very, very serious. So, of course, on the, you know, surface of shit getting reported, they're going to side with the woman. That's just how shit is. But with the fucking severity of how this shit was and the names involved, like, it's, it's nah. And with the picture yeah, being bro. revealed and shit like that, bro, and niggas just not caring? I just, <laughs> it's, it's sad as fuck, bro. It's really sad. It's, and she's still out here making big ass money, Aquaman. Shit, Aquaman too. And she's out here reportedly fighting for a bigger role in Aquaman too. Yeah. She's wanting more screen time in the fucking movie. She played a bigger role her, other than the role she already played. Time. You say what, Isaac? Have you seen how she look? Give her more screen time. Head ass. Yes, she's fine, but she's a fucking. D she's a devil. No. Uh, like I'm saying, if, if Zendaya can beat me and I'm still with her, it's a win-win. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What the fuck is it's, this? I'm lost. I'm lost. I am, uh, I am astonished. <laughs> this nigga, the audacity of this she, man. She gets to live on her fantasy of being a nigga, and I get to live on my fantasy of 
Beating What's them up, cheeks. Beekeeper? So, what you talking about? Fucking God. This nigga, nigga is... what kind of relationship is that, bro? You already, Hell no. you already know Isaac likes some That's ratchet and toxic. It's a symbiotic one. <laughs> this nigga Isaac, you know, we all know Isaac likes the ratchets, right? He said this a couple of uh, fucking podcasts ago. We, we can't be, we can't be surprised, honestly. Honestly, I don't really, I don't feel like. I will, there will ever be a situation where I can take a woman to court for her being abusive to me as a man. So you would just let this rock? Hey, bro. I would. So, I wouldn't take a woman to court bro. over So it. you allow her to sully your name? Not even that. Just like... Ruin your whole livelihood. Yeah, abuse yeah. you. Suck your livelihood away. Suck your bag, no homo. Pause. Just take your bag away from you, my nigga. I mean, just think about it. That was the only thing she was sucking. Anyway. Uh, bro, that's... Nah, I can't. I can't. Anyway, uh, their divorce... I'm not talking about... Whoever made the first uh, allegation. I didn't say there's nothing wrong with the defending your name in court. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I wouldn't take her to court for it. I wouldn't be the first one to make that move. Shit. 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 My nigga, seven million. Yeah, I ain't the only man to think like that. Of course you're not. But I will tell a bitch lawyer up real quick. Yeah, it doesn't make it. Yeah, it doesn't make it right. Yeah, I'll take a bitch to court immediately. Just like, come on now, bro. She's out here hurting my, my work, my nigga. I'm out here being asked to sign and off a movie. Yourself, but I can't get that money back. That's he, money. Johnny Depp is still getting paid for this movie. I don't give up, bro. Not as much as he would have fucking got. Yeah, he is. He's getting his exact paycheck bro, for not doing any of the bro, work. Bro, for future work. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, from from you future, look up your from future work. You say from stuff. future work, my nigga. He's he's basically being blackballed from a fucking false allegation, bro. It can't be. I mean, some of it gotta be true for it to have some type of ramification. Nah. I mean, you can't, y'all, you, can, you can't be in an abusive relationship and you not doing anything back. No. We I talked mean, about this the first. We talked about this. We talked about this. We talked about this. Exactly. It's one-sided wow. as hell. It's one-sided as hell. We talked about this the first podcast. I, just because you put your hands on me, bro, like I said, I'm going to get the fuck out of there. I'm just going to fucking leave. I'm going to up and leave. Once you do some shit, too, you're going to dirty your hands and it'll just be a bunch of abusive-ass niggas in the crib. Like, I'll and make clearly he maybe have dirtied his hands. I don't know. Oh we ain't there. I can't say he didn't. I don't believe that he would, but you it's a uh you ain't never nobody know believe Bill Cosby was raping like fifty women, but look at it. You say oh, what? I said nobody said believed Bill Cosby was raping women, but no, there was cold hard fucking facts, out. bro. There was cold hard facts. There so at least, at least there some was, type of facts for this. Bro, this bro. shit's been going on since twenty 20- Fifteen? Every evidence, all the evidence. And it's all against Amber Heard. All Amber Heard has is hearsay. I mean, hey, and nothing all else. Thing is, there gotta be some fluidity to what she says for it to happen. Fuck all that. All I'm saying is, <laughs> fuck all that. that <laughs> some evidence that supports what she's saying. Mm. And there's evidence that supports he got hit too. Uh, I'm not seeing that. All I'm saying is, you said, you said, you said earlier, we weren't there. We don't know what's going down and they went down in their house. So yeah. how can we? How can we claim that her evidence? <laughs> I, did, I did say that. Her, how we can't? How can we claim that her evidence not valid and only say his is valid? Like, this is a actual... big, like, you never know situation because there's a lot of he said, she said, what niggas got marks on their bodies and stuff. Somebody gotta play devil's advocate. I'm just saying. Things she said could be true, too. I, I mean, the entire case is some devil's advocate shit because. <laughs> it's hard, you bro. Say something you after that? For the lawyer. Nah. You say what, Chris? Advocate to nothing. I was making a joke. We said we're doing whole devil's advocate thing. I just said Keanu Reeves is the lawyer. Head as. Yeah, I'm still riding with. I'm still riding with Johnny, bro. 
This bitch out here trying to suck my man's dry, bro. And there's there's too there's too niggas. much there's too much shit. This nigga came out first of all. This bitch reads for the NDA, right? And then in, then goes and breaks it. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah, you got what, um, in the urine. Yeah. What? Uh, that he's willing to put that on the line. Sorry. But what? Uh. Deb said that she's doing, which I definitely believe is she's only doing it for clout chasing. Of course. And more fucking money. Of course. You say all this shit, you put more dirt on this nigga's name, and you turn around. I want more fucking money on Aquaman too. More $7 fucking. Seven million dollars settlement. Well, I want more, <laughs> bitch. I want more. I want that. I want the aqua bag, and I want that, and I want that debt bag, my nigga. I this bitch is not gonna stop, my guy. That's why I'm riding for Johnny, bro. There's just too much. There's just too much shit. Too much shit going on at the same time. Like this bitch can't even like do it as like she's doing it like right after another, bro. Like this shit is sequential. Like she's reading the fucking playbook and just doing this shit. The next play, next possession. He's gonna do this now. I right, we're gonna do this now. Because the whole like thing is that if she really wanted to be over and done, right? Mm -hmm. Then she settled it in court. They got an NDA, right? Mm -hmm. Then don't talk about it, right? But now they're fucking going on about this. But we make sure that she fucking speaks up so there are no more victims. And yada 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 yada. yada. We've heard that washed excuse many many times. Like I'm not saying that. Real yeah, people like victims should yeah, talk, should not, but yeah. she's milking it really, really hard. <laughs> well, that's be well if she uh, if, if it were true, yeah. If it were true, I would go ahead and do it. But I'm trying to see some hard, cold. Ooh, he, 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 I'm, I'm, shit. I'm hearing. I'm just seeing a bunch of like, yeah, he did this. I'm gonna see some fucking uh, just, just live leak shit. This nigga boxing ad, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Nah. This nigga, I believe. But yeah, cause it, it, it's it's terrible, bro. It's terrible. You don't. It, you hate to see it. And this, a lot of this shit happens to not just celebrities, just random, random, regular ass Joes like us too, bro. Y'all gotta protect yourselves out here. For real. For real. But yeah, um, that's that's my only stance on that. Bobby, you have an opinion? Mm hmm. You have an opinion? No, no, I do not actually. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, before we head off, we got the good old c -c 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 question of the week. <laughs> Which celebrity do you wish had a god tier OnlyFans that you would most definitely pay for? You ain't gotta. Rack, this isn't like no self snitching. It's okay if you buy OnlyFans and if you don't. But if a celebrity that you would like enjoy a lot had one. Who would it be? You already know. I just answer so. All right. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Keontae? Uzi? No, that's a whole nigga. <laughs> and nigga. That's a whole nigga. Hey, bro, I still you ride with my niggas if they feel that way or not. Shows. Yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> Oil up them shoulders, Uzi. Go ahead and roll for me, bro. Actually, ass. Boy. They talk to you on the Facetime, Uzi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. A celebrity who's only saying is worth paying for his god tier. Cardi B's has an OnlyFans already. Yeah, but god tier, I'm sure hers isn't god tier. I heard... It's just a fan one. That's what I'm saying. Like, she posts, she basically made a post like, I'm gonna make an OnlyFans just be me talking about shit. That's not god tier. I'm gonna talk to my fucking well, I mean, bus driver. Well, would be Zendaya's, but... Of course, yeah. of course, of course. We that's know that. That's the only one I would... Of course, of course, of course. A thousand a month? No problem. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the? That's a, what the, that's a Tesla. That's what the this, fuck? This man said, I'm dropping down payments on his OnlyFans, nigga. Fuck. For real, bro. I'm going to get that, that uh, K. Don't work that 9 to 5 shit. I don't know what y'all <laughs> Now take This will take care of the first three months, correct? Mrs. Mrs. Daya? Mrs. Zendaya? What the fuck is her last name? Uh, what is Zendaya? I've never thought about that, Cole, bro. I think it's Cole. I think it's Cole. What is it? What is it, Isaac? Is that even her first name? I don't care what it is, but Zendaya is a Cole. Hey, you were right. Damn, bro. Hold on. Chris, you want to tell us something, bro? Is this your true boo? <laughs> <laughs> 
You got to fight this nigga Isaac to the death for knowing that, bro. Deep down inside, he ain't fucking with that, bro. You shouldn't have said it. Um, <laughs> I, like I like mixed women. Head as. I like them all. Her name, real name is Zendaya Marie Stormer. What the fuck? But go back to Keontae when he was about to name some male celebrity. What were you going to look at? What, what, what's yours, bro? <clears throat> all right. Uh, uh, he just did a quick Google search. No, 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 no. Uh, he said Sniper Wolf. No. That's mediocre what? as fuck. No, no. Uh, that's worth paying for, though. God, oh, this ain't that such a hard question. It really isn't, though. I don't know why he... He did this shit. Didn't, didn't he do this, like, some other time, though? I know very recently we asked this nigga a question and he didn't want to. Oh, the feather, you're fucking like best rapper out right now. This nigga wanted to say yeah. fucking little, little TJ or some shit. Why damn it? Hit his ass with a fucking steel it's chair. Little TJ. It was somebody about the same fucking caliber. This nigga said 21 little Savage. Than little TJ, though. But that's not the point. So who's, who, who's fucking OnlyFans, bro? This nigga. Like, okay, uh this, Bobby, which only fans would you get, bro? I'm gonna say Chloe Bennett. I we looked. I looked her up today. Hold on. This was a um, out of left field. Ch uh, which what, what the fuck was that? A selection. But I enjoyed it. Okay, okay. She didn't look too bad from what I remember. Okay. Uh, that's just my pick. Okay, okay, okay. She looks like a nice little like preschool teacher. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Man, no what the fuck? Comment. This nigga was going with Chandler Parsons. I'm dead. <laughs> As an NBA player, if niggas that don't know, they got into I mean, a car accident. Yeah, Zendaya, Nicki Zendaya. Minaj. I would, too. Nicki Minaj? Okay. I'm trying to see that Nicki Minaj. Okay. Ever since. Ever since Super Bass. <laughs> but then it got solidified within the condom. Chris, oh, yeah. I understand. I understand. Then there's Shakira and Ooh. Rihanna. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Chris, and what the, the fuck? Hip, this thing is dating rolling. Logan Paul. I don't think I want to watch that. Uh, Isaac, not Isaac, Bobby. This this girl dated mm -hmm. Logan Paul. You said what? This Chloe Bennett girl was dating Logan Paul too. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I changed Okay, my mind. so <laughs> Keontae said Patrick Mahomes. He just said. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? Bro, this nigga is taking too long, bro. Just which fucking woman, bro? It's okay, Valkyrie, Pokemon, nigga, something, bro. Be basic. It's okay. This nigga is this. Hmm. Are you? This nigga's going. Nigga, do you need to recharge your batteries, my nigga? Are you okay? You need some more fucking rocket fuel? Or do you like. <laughs> who, yeah. nigga? Uh. J Lo. There we go. That's basic. All right. No, no, no. That's, 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 that's like a, no more questions. Like, to boy. say a fifty-year-old woman. That generic ass, two thousand and five ass answer, bro. Okay, bro. bro. All right, all right, bro. Tough ain't it? Tough ain't it, bro? All right, bro. He, he really, he really get waited fifteen minutes to say a fifty-year-old woman. I want to talk. I, 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 I don't talk. Dude, to you you would have got more respect if you said a summer rain or something. Honestly, bro, that was. Discuss that was I I almost mute your fucking mic off the stream, bro. I couldn't but I can't believe you nigga. This nigga yeah. did not. I don't sit here fucking criticizing y'all picks, bro. That's I... cause our picks ain't bad. I yeah. don't give a f I I don't know who the fuck Chloe Bennett is, but I didn't say anything. I'll let Bobby have his pick. Because you don't know who she is. But we don't know who J Lo is. Yeah. I know who Zendaya a... is, and I don't care about. I definitely wouldn't pay for hers, but that's your option, right? Hey, beat that's his ass! You just respecting your fucking woman, bro. Hey, beat hey, this nigga's ass! Him. What do you mean? <laughs> no, no, she's, she's no, 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 <laughs> no! Don't do it! Don't do it! No, <laughs> because I already knew what your choice would uh. <laughs> No. What you mean, no. 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 Now I now <laughs> I definitely am not Collins in. Oh they shit. Are ugly in any way. This nigga but got the fucking. I that's I wouldn't pick hers. 
Got the nuclear warhead button on fuck the fucking red button on fucking uh, on deck, bro. Hey, bro, it is what it is. Anyway, the, hey, bro, I got a picture that y'all need to, to pull, see. About to pull up. Like I'm about to send it in the Discord, and, and you tell me if she. You tell me this is what he was. He he had the nerve to say Zendaya looked bad. <laughs> I didn't say this Zendaya looks bad. When did that come out of my mouth at all? Never. Hey, bro, when you just did, when you just disrespected the OnlyFans, you basically spit in her face. No, I didn't. <laughs> just saying I wouldn't pay for an OnlyFans spits in their face? Hell what no. the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Hold on. This, this, this is the only fan <laughs> this, bro. The chat needs to see this. What the fuck is this, bro? Oh my God, this supposed bro. to be a Halloween <laughs> costume? What is this? this this is what he said he'd pay for, for real. My God. <laughs> hey, bro, you said you'd pay for that. Listen here, bro. As <laughs> I, I personally think that J Lo looks good, bro, but that's just my opinion, right? So she's fine in that picture. Oh, no, that's a terrible fucking picture. Ew. But all, but all I'm saying is I did just. Because I wouldn't pay for someone's OnlyFans doesn't mean I'm calling them ugly, right? Like, I would have to literally call them ugly. Yeah, like, okay. right? <laughs> since, <laughs> since, <laughs> since, like, when was there this huge pride for having an OnlyFans, bro? Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah, I tell you, bro. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bro. Anyway, all I know is my choice is Demi Lovato, Spoon, and Broken Light Bulb included. Jesus fucking what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Demi Lovato fine as hell, bro. Does she what the Spoon? My dick? I don't know. Yeah, I'm in Oregon right now, bro. You keep well, you're up. gonna be shooting. You trying to shoot up with her? Yes, sir, bro. That, that that's what that extra fifteen is for, my nigga. You feel me? Fifteen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Then she got that little, the little, uh, the little dent in her chin. That shit fine as hell, bro. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for it, bro. Silverware section, bro. I'm, I'm Where all the spoons go? <laughs> Where all the spoons? <laughs> he no. said, about to go, about to pop off, go nuclear. Oh my god! And she, her birthday is nine days. I mean, yeah, nine days before mine. So we meant for each other. She's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. She's American. She's 5'3", same guy as Keontae. It's like it's a match for me, bro. He says she's American like that means something. And she's 5'3", like Keontae. 5'3". Keontae? Oh, yeah, he is 5'3". Why are y'all niggas lying on my name, bro? <laughs> I'm fucking 5'3". You're 5'3". Yeah, no, yeah, you are, man. I remember. You're short as yeah. fuck. Why y'all niggas lying? I'm not. Hold on. Hold you on, chat. Hold on, chat. Look at this woman, bro. All oh, look at the oh, woman. Hold on. Life. Look at this. She's what the fuck ads? Look at this. Look beautiful, bro. Look how her chin looks like a W, like fucking Mermaid Man's belt. Amazing, bro. Anyway. Anyway, it's been. Uh, we're approaching. Damn. Two hours and eighteen minutes. Uh, <clears throat> anybody like to get the closing remarks in? What? I don't think I said mine. Oh <laughs> shit, you didn't. Wait a minute. Yeah, hey, wait a minute. What, what was your what was your uh what was your pick? Uh, Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Nobody is super famous. I was gonna say Natalie Dormer. She played what the fuck did Dr. Fauci do? Say Natalie. Hold on. Natalie Dormer. Let me check. Hunger Games. She's from the Hungry Games. She's in it. What else is she's from? She's in Game of Thrones. I knew her mostly from that. Hungry Games are. Why does she look old and young in like so many pictures? What is? She's thir She's thirty eight. That's why. Holy shit. That's that skinny fat. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. But anyway. Okay, Chris. Okay. Nothing special. Hey, Chris. That's all. Okay, Chris. That's like a little sleeper. Hey, might as well. Like. Eight. Question for next week. What's a cursed image? Oh, all right y'all so we're, we're gonna do our uh we're gonna do our sign offs we're gonna do our sign offs chris what you want to say bro um shit um take it easy y'all um just see y'all next week um i might be putting out content with the next one for my own channel but i'll let you guys know how that goes uh, hey
<laughs> Bobby. What? Closing statements. Um, you see, we'll still see what happens with this whole stimulus check thing because that's really one thing that I've been just keeping in mind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably have. We'll probably try to get an update on that next. Really shit about oh, my, that my, my fucking money, my nigga. Uh, hopefully, niggas that go to college, money. and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, get theirs as well. Uh, you know, Isaac, closing statement. Anything that's not cursed image related. Wow, bro, limiting me. <laughs> Since I'm preparing the topics for next week, there yes, will sir. be extra spicy. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I want to hear, nigga. That's what I want to see, nigga. Wow me. Knock my fucking socks off. Habanero sauce. Uh, basically, uh, tried to have them in by Wednesday. Okay. Nigga. Tried to have them in before. Anyway. It's it, in the time sheet. I don't it, clock in, clock out. You work for me. That as. Um, uh, Keontae, what you got to say, bro? What you got to say about Uzi's OnlyFans? Oh, today is Thursday. I forgot about that. Keontae! I mean, shit. Let's hope the topic next next week going to be fire as fuck, because I'm going to be there, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not busy as Hopefully. Fuck. Well, about to say, hopefully you not, boy! Uh... But shit, bro, I'm trying to get back on my stream shit, but besides that, <laughs> keep it cool, like the other side of the pillow. That like, was such an some, sheer some, statement. Some niggas don't need the internet. You the niggas that have Netflix on TV, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you, the nigga, you the niggas that watch Netflix on fucking Whoa. direct the dish TV, don't you? Oh. Hell nah. Hold on, I gotta wait till I gotta wait till next Saturday to watch a new episode of uh of, of Seven Deadly Sins, bro. Don't 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 you go mean, ahead. Bro? Don't go ahead, what bro. Mean, bro, I'm about don't... to hope the fucking Netflix on fucking basic cable, bro. Bro, yo, hold on, on, bro. Satellite. Hold on, bro. They said that new uh the new uh Cowboy Bebop movie coming on next month, bro. I can't wait, bro. This All shit, right. this shit already fucking out. Head as. But anyway, um, um, yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna be back here next week. Hopefully, uh, niggas won't be sick and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We have the whole team here again. <clears throat> I'll see y'all niggas next week. And uh, peace.